morning everybody sorry guys uh, a little late start here I'm waking up this is the fifth annual Lin Chow pinball tournament it's uh, 64 players five ladies and under thousand dollar entry fee I missed my wake up call and uh, started late. Sorry about that. I'm shooting the eight ball now. Nine pins, scores one zero. Nice shot on that ball. A little, little thin cut on the eight on the ten ball, excuse me. Let's start sharing this out, guys, for you. Everybody to watch. I'm going to take this long thing, cut it, but it's getting a little bit of fun. Me personally, I put a little bit of left on this ball to push it to the, carry it to the pocket as well as the ball down table. Don't make sure you hit it hard enough to make it though. This is definitely no gimme. A little bit of hanger, just some cleanup for Marcus. I'll have the scoreboard up here in just one second. Almost missed that ball, almost scratched. That shot is a clear shot to the corner pocket. This isn't turning out bad. Only come in and clean it up, play the 10 ball. Griff's TV on YouTube. I'm going to share. It, I'm going to share it out in a minute, though. Screw it. Thank you. 
Alright guys, welcome to the Cameron Channel, this is the 5th annual, thousand dollar entry fee.
Good morning, guys. Good morning, Cher. Good morning. Never offended. Yes, I used to express a bad brother. <laughs> oh, well, you guys are starting fresh and early this morning. I appreciate all of you. Still sharing. Yes, I was late. I thought the tournament started tomorrow. So I was completely, obviously, completely wrong. Oops. Believe it or not, I probably got the best sleep I've had in months last night. It was amazing to the realize. Oops. So yes. that one. Come on, brother, set him up. Good morning, everybody. This is the first day of a three day tournament. This is the Sam Lynchow fifth annual tournament. This is a the 10 ball tournament. 64 players, 580 and under. Guys, I got a little up late this morning thinking that the tournament started tomorrow. So, usually I am way ahead of time, not today. Very easily be hey guys remember to subscribe like and share I appreciate it we always have the $25 gift certificate from Joe's Q repair that I give out to the person I do a drawing for every time you say hi to me in the chat you get one entry working on sharing and sending this out guys sorry if I
Come live into the stream, guys, and I hey, what's going on here? Sorry about this. I am uh, running a little bit behind here because of me not realizing that the tournament started today. I thought it started tomorrow. So I had to run down here, set it up, and get it rolling. The three day tournament, the Sam Lin Chow, fifth annual Sam Lin Chow tournament. 64 players that are Fargo 580 and under with a thousand dollar entry fee. Payouts will be over the top for sure. Last year, I think first place paid 52, but I don't think we have a full field this year. We have a lot of players, I'm not sure how many, over 40. 40, but I'm not quite sure what the total number is. And it was a, I guess, slept better last night than I have in freaking months. To wake up to oh you're running late all right guys here we are sorry if I sent you out of all right what we got going on in chat uh, oh yeah let me grab my coffee really I had I had I hadn't heard yet. Thanks, Tracy. Emma! So we got Peaches on here. Emma, the one of the top pool poker players, pool players in the Las Vegas area. You want action, she'll give it to you. I appreciate you so much, Emma. You did such a great job in the commentary booth that if ever you want to, you got three days of streaming here. If you ever have the time to come down, you know you're welcome into the booth. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Oh, that's my first sip of coffee. Oh, my God. It tastes so good. I'm still waking up, guys, so Mark has got a 3-1 lead, but I'm telling you, it's been closer than that. It really, it's come down to who misses the, the last ball in this match so far. The you know, first, first matches are always the toughest, especially when it's single elimination. You know, you get through that first match, you know you can make a run, but you got to get through that first match. It's always been the, one of the biggest issues I've had in pool. Oh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Emma hasn't even gone to bed yet since last night, so <laughs> sleep well, young lady. Marcus got a nice little shot here from the 9 to the 10. Oh, that was, get up there, baby. Get up there. Get perfect. Get perfect. Not bad. Not bad. He's got a shot. Uh, oh man, this coffee tastes so good. It's a little tricky, but it's very makeable. He's already missed a couple. Let's see if we can get this one in the pocket and put the win up on the board. Ah, uh, he stroked it so good that ball dropped. So the score is now 3 2. 
down, you could be easily. Mark is having four. It's okay. He's starting to fall in. Like I said, first matches are always the biggest pain in the ass there is. Oh, this coffee's so good. Oh my god. I'm waking up quick. Hey, so we got a good match here. I don't know what's up with the YouTube. Their live chat sometimes just goes down. You have to restart it. Marcus is the person that put this term together. He is the originator of these 100%. He said there was one tournament before him that did it one time with like eight players or 16 players but he was the first person that came on board with this the 580 and under thousand dollar entry fee to prove that it actually works and now there's they're running them all over the country that has proven it that you can get the players the uh this is definitely his contribution to billiards but i'm sure at the time he never even expected it to happen by the way, Sam Lin Chow is the first winner of the, number, the first annual tournament. And right after that tournament, he got into an accident and, and uh, lost his life. So, guys, remember life is short. Make the best of it. That three ball will go, but I don't know if we'll have a decent shot afterwards. I think me, I'm probably going to try to tear him into the. Oh man, it's so close a combination, but you just want to make sure you get a shot afterwards. I, I think he, I think he made the one ball, and I see him 10 ball. Of course, the chosen player has option to let him shoot or shoot it. And me, if I can see the ball, I'm always shooting. He looks like he doesn't know what he's going to do. Let's see what he decides here. To me, I'm just going to stop the cue ball right where the, ten, where the two is and bank it out of one rail safe. But, um, it's a little longer, but that bad. You could easily stop the cue ball right there and bank the cue ball out. In the Scott Frost incident, it's the same kind of situation right here, right, guys? You have to play. <laughs> I don't, Marcus is not going to give it back to him anyway, it doesn't matter. But it just makes sense. He's putting just a little word about the Frost. Scott Frost incident with the shirt touching the ball, the US Open 9 ball. Self policing in a professional level happens all the time, guys. You know, you should like. The local league nationals, you say, like, the nationals, I'm going to call everything, that's the rules, blah, 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 blah. Like, that's not how it is in close. I mean, it's really not, for the most part. If, if, uh, if people won't have issues with a guy calling me about a foul, but it was a foul. Um, would it have been on the other reverse? Would Scott called it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he would have. And it's not an issue. It should not be an issue from either side. Yes, at the moment you might have got a little upset over it, but even like Scott thought about it, and, and then and then and then he's completely changed his attitude. I would think that hey, look, I thought about it, and it is what it is, and he's, he's not going to live his life worried about it because self policing very simple. Now, if you go back to where Shane was. Uh, playing the kid, I can't remember his name, and the kid shot five balls from the four. A little bit of a different situation there because they were both on the same line path. 
she could hardly tell what the difference. So, you know, if you don't stop a person from shooting, they shoot. If they make that mistake, that's on the person. But this is pretty much a pro level. It's self-policing. I'll tell the story again when I was in the U.S. When I was referee in the U.S. Open, eight ball, nine ball, ten ball, and, and one pocket. Okay? Not nine ball. And... I called two calls. In 12 days, I had to make two calls. Other than that, they police themselves. Never an argument over it. The pros are professional. Pros play professional pool. It's simple as that. Looks like the like market's going to go two rounds into the five, and he got a good hit. Marcus. Marcus has got a little bit of a long shot. He shoots this down the table. Touch this. Looks like he's going to end up hitting the sixth ball. I don't think he's really no way around it. Oh, I guess you could try pulling it back, but if you pull it back, you might end up scratching. So you don't want to do that. You just want to kind of maybe make it the center and have it come so you can sit to the side if you don't hit it. And then see what he does it. Yeah, nice shot. That's a nice shot. This shot right here is without a doubt I'm going. He's got a little bit of angle to the right, so I'm definitely going to probably go try to go three rails here. He might be able to go one rail to straight enough and just spin left top, left fingers to come out. That's what he does. And he's doing three. He's definitely first to make that ball. 100% he just focused on making that ball. He got position on that. So I don't know if he's going to just go for the combo or the two rail safety to the end of the table. I think I shoot um, what I do, Tanner. Marcus made the seven ball, he's under eight. Nice clean time. Looks like he's going to put a little bit of the bottom one, bring it out off the side of that. And the position is going to be great. But he does have a shot. Kitty got the nine ball. You can't hear me, right? Come on. There's a little bit extra on this ball. Uh, he went for the cut. So happens. Okay, so Mark's back up again with just two guys. I really think it's straight in, straight in. Left me up. Left this up a little bit of an angle there. Still very nice. Huh? Games are gonna, you know, the first games are so difficult, guys. So 
getting them. These are upper level B players. These are not A to professional players. These are upper level B players. So coming from all over the country. So we really got the, the best of the best that comes to the B players. But you gotta remember this is a four and a quarter inch table. And first match of a single elimination tournament. You can come all the way from Texas, Louisiana, Florida, around the country, play this tournament too. We do have players from there and be out after one match. There is extreme pressure on these matches. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry, I had to take just a moment there. Make sure I had that. everything working properly. I was running late, so I did have issues, but I think I got them fixed now. To the three ball. I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of top off it, maybe nick off the four ball. I can't see the right the angle and go down to the three ball. Nope, clean. He missed the five. He missed the three ball. Excuse me. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do a whole lot with this three ball. I'm just gonna make this three ball kind of tap the four ball. There you go. This is a gentleman game, guys. So when you're in the, you're pulling a lap off, you move a ball, put it back in place. See? Never be an issue with when you're pulling a lap off. I know there's a rule that says if you move two balls, <clears throat> it's a foul. And under normal situations, 100%, I call it. But when it's called when it's removing the rack, it's a completely different situation. Okay, three, three games here. Everybody's kind of slowing down a little bit. Marcus is finally starting to settle down. Hopefully we're doing all right here. Nice shot by the three ball, nice kick, almost made it. Guys, welcome to the the fifth annual Sam Lin Chow tournament. This is a memorial in honor of Sam. Sam won the very first tournament, first annual. Of course, it wasn't called Sam Lynch out then because 
a few weeks after he wanted to end up into an accident and got killed. So Marcus made it an honor of him. He was a young guy too, man. I'm telling you, so please guys, realize life is short. Be careful. All right. Marcus started to hit the balls. He left himself a little weird on the five ball. I think he's probably going to, I don't know if that five ball goes or not, it might go. You okay? Yep. Yeah, I need that nice shot. See if he can get position on the six. And I think he is a little bit behind the ten ball. Not, he might have a shot there. Oh, he might be, no, he's banking it. So he's going to... I see it go three yards to the other side, but I think he's going to go one way to that side. Oh, good hit. And he got it out. Oh, good hit. I think he has to either do a bank or the combo. And at this point, when it's coming down to the last two balls anyway, you never do the combo, but in this match, I might fire it. What the hell?
coming out and I didn't realize the battery died on me. I'm back. I think I'm okay now, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Guess I've been talking all this time and just wasting my voice. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's down on the nine ball. He's getting a ten ball. Ten balls have not come easy on this table. You have to definitely strip this ball clean. And that was as clean a shot as you can get. It gives him a four to three lead. Four, three. This is a race to 11. Single elimination. The finals will be a race to 15. This is a three day tournament. The fifth annual Sam Lee Channel. Kind of weird position to make the three ball after this because the three ball is three ball is going to roll past the three and the three might come in front of the two. This is definitely a shot you have to watch your position on it. I don't think I think I'm, I'm not sure how I'm hitting the ball because it's going to come out weird one way or the other. Two ball, you could have the two ball and the one ball both roll. Two ball, excuse me, two ball and two ball both roll to the left. He played safe in the uh, foul. Marcus has got ball in hand. Three to the corner. The four balls by the seven ball on this end of the table. So you see, pull it back just a little bit. Options here. I'm pretty sure he just going to set this to the side pocket. Try to come through, try to bring the two ball through the eight ten. The five ball on the far top left. And he just played the first one. I think I like holding that ball up a little bit more than that. over the eight ball a little bit but not a whole lot so he's supposed to be able to do some stuff and for me personally i'm going to bank this four ball in the rail and have the two ball low in behind the five and with the way they're playing he can actually be aggressive and not be too scared about running out and, uh, you have run two, three balls at the most maybe four marcus only done four or five once or twice but with bad results so i mean Mark is from Montana. 
the great state of Montana. And his wife used to live here in Las Vegas. I believe she's somewhere back in the Midwest, Illinois. Not even sure. So five ball from one rail over to the six. He has options here. He can just put a little bit of bottom, bottom right on his ball and just, just straight bottom. I think he's going to go top left and go in and around three rails to the seven. I like that. That's how I would start it for sure. Nice and clean, make sure you make it. Keeps a little bit long today. Just a okay. I didn't see him call it. Nice shot. Now he just come off the rail. One rail up to it. Nine ball. Keep it simple. Make sure you make this ball up. He hit that ball good. I believe he's almost. So he just, if he just if he changes and stop it. Nothing crazy. Looks like he might be going around the table. I can't tell. Oh no. Okay, oh well, he had even a better angle than I thought. Fantastic shot. This is to square it all back up 4-4. Four, four. Four, four. Let's go, guys. Good boy, this is the kind of match you're going to have here all day. We have some higher level players, but for the most part, this is the kind of matches we're going to have, especially on this tight pocket table. So everybody else is playing on. We have two matches being played on tight pocket tables. Both are four and a quarter. That's table 11 and table 20 down here at Griff's, our action tables. A few of our action tables. We've got the rest of the matches will be played on four and a half inch pockets. We have players from all over the country in here today. I forgot. I guess I should post this on my. Hey, Chastity just came in. How you doing? Good morning. Good friend of mine. He's been working with Katie real hard on getting the Q Club up and going, and the Q Club looks fantastic. It's the best it's looked in 20 years, I think. Well, I would say that. Doing a great job down there. Let me, um, you know what I, you know what I haven't done is I haven't shared it to my own Facebook page. Let me, let me do that real quick while I'm thinking about it. Oops. Guys, if you were in, if you send me messages in Messenger, um, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. everybody coming in. She has to be an up and comer lady pool player here in town. Getting tougher and tougher every day. Alright, next up. Table 27, Chris Hurst is the best. Now 
We have the 4 4 racer. You're live now, baby. I'm live. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I figured I'd give you a warning. <laughs> I don't. I don't give a lot of people warning because I get crazy stuff out of them. You don't say that. Shot a four ball, a little bit hard. Got a new five ball. He has a shot now. So I think he'll be okay right here. That is not a horrible shot. Yeah, it's like he was trying to make that home. That's not a horrible shot. Talking to me, might be on the stream too. I can't tell. Talking about how I beat him last night. I don't remember. I'm too freaking old to remember anything. I don't remember the wins or the losses. No, I remember the losses. It's the wins I don't remember. I'll just down this this one. Just a nice clean shot. Hold across the table. Could be half tip bottom. Hey, I think he, ooh, he may, I think he's going to be okay here, but I'm pretty sure Mark can play a safety. Finally, I think I'm waking up. The coffee is kicking in. Good shit, dude. Ooh. Hang out with you. <laughs> I usually don't tell people I get them to say something. <laughs> and then I tell them, oh, I'm sorry, you know you're live, right? I thought I'd be nice to you today. Got pumped up for this? No. Nope. Man, I would be. God, I'd be over the top. In this tournament, 100%. Any, in any tournament, yes. it's, it's where your mind is at. Like Marcus yesterday asked me if he, how he was hitting him. I didn't care how he was hitting him because I already know how he was hitting It's just where his mind is at. And that is so true. Other than that, I can't help him. See, I always felt like the more pressure, the better I shot. So I didn't mind having the pressure. I, honest God, I right. love it. Oh, it was. Mindset is I don't mind pressure. Because yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm going to feel it in a term like this. I am deaf. It's definitely on. Yeah. So how do you approach it? Am I going to make this shot? Or are you going to tell yourself, I'm going to make this shot? Or, shit, I hope I don't miss this shot. 
<laughs> There's a huge difference in when you, that's right. That is 100%. That's Connie. She is with Scott Bush. So she's got, she's working on getting his mind in the right place. I know hers is. She's a tough freaking player. I'll tell you what, she plays to win every time. They both do. Hell, who doesn't? Hell, am I saying? We have a 4-4 match there, guys. This has really been a battle down for the last few balls. This table is tight. Wow, he's going to put that ball in the pocket. He's going to give Marcus a chance right now to get out. And it looks to me like it has a slight little angle to where he should be able to come out for nine balls. So I'm more focused on just making sure I make this ball a little bit of top. It's like he's so he, so he's putting a little bit of bottom up, maybe draw. It must be pretty straight in. It must be straighter than I thought it was. Guys, when you cross like that, especially on fake pockets, you got to stroke and you cannot try to pile drive them into the pocket. I'm not saying you won't make it, but you have to hit that ball dead perfect. If you don't hit it dead perfect, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> you guys are just taking turns. Mark says another shot is eight more. I'm a full believer in using meditation because a lot of people don't. Uh, well, you know what? Better to make that ball and get option to shoot again or because he might pass this back ball. And that means you're still at the table. So it looks like he can definitely see an edge of the ball, which means it's makeable. So. He might even be able to paint this ball. He did. Oh, that's. Ernie Revis just come in. Appreciate you so much, brother. So does he just play the safe here and just stop the key ball behind the 10 ball and run the 9 ball down the table? Don't accidentally make it, I guess it's the key here. Oh. I thought for sure he played the safety the way he's been playing. He played. The ball must have been more makeable than I thought. relatively easy shots because pretty straight might be able to pour it out and just hold it for the same pocket. Oh yeah this is this is so this is one of these games so so sometimes you get in matches where it gets so ugly you kind of rubs off you on your partner. So you're battling more with yourself than you are with the game because the game is just so ugly that you have to be able to stay composed through the ugliness. And then, and then get out and you finally get so many shots that you get it, right? So 
that's what Marcus just did. He was just like, the game is just a very ugly game. I've been in matches where I was getting my butt kicked, and the person was in stroke, and I wasn't. So I, uh, so I uh, made it ugly the game I can to pull out the win. Sorry, I had uh, Joe Klimchek and Joe's two repairs come up. What was that you said? I'm get you live right now, brother. <laughs> hey. Marcus is up 5-4 in this match. Guys, we're out of players meeting. I'm going to take one little break. Hold on one second. my justice both tables in the action area both the breaks so it's perfect timing for me to get back over and get myself a little better guys sorry i was late this morning i slept so good last night i haven't had that much good sleep in a fucking million years so i had to... so it took me a moment to get it together and now while these guys are taking a break let's put in some of our our one sponsor that we have, Joe's Shoe Repairs. The guy has been great. He will be, he gives certificates that everybody that talks on comes in live into the chat, into the live chat. Just the one, because it's only because Okay, so let me get out of the way again. So Mark is back. We're waiting on Marcus. He's out smoking a cigarette. These are long races. Races to 11, even though it's single elimination. 
Hey, Jeff Ray. Yeah, he's, it's, it's been a battle so far with his matches. He is up five to four, but uh, he, he could be easily up more or down more. It has been a battle. This game has really come down to just the last couple balls so far. Marcus is breaking. So here we go again, guys. It is a 5-4 race to the 11. Um, single elimination. This is 580 and under Fargo rating. $1,000 entry fee. Last year we had a full 64 fill, which paid 52 grand at the first place. This year, I think that 40 something, 45 maybe. I'm not quite sure. Let's go, that's still a lot of money inside the pot. We um, playing on nine foot tables. We do, we are using two action tables. So we have two tables that are four and a quarter, the rest of them are four and a half inch pockets. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Oh, uh, I'll get it for you. I'm not quite sure. I didn't know it. I think it's so. You go to the go to the visitors or is it just guests? They're guests right there. Yeah, and then I believe it's twenty. I think they, they just changed it, so it's Griff's twenty twenty three. But that's with a capital G and an S. So it's plural. One word, I think. Get that. So drifts at the mass 2023. But uh, if that doesn't work, then I'll double check. That didn't work. All right, so and right, I'll be right back. Yeah, we. Uh, you're live, so, so watch yourself. You're okay. live. See that green? What is what is the Wi-Fi password? Griff, capital G. Uh huh. Uh, Twenty twenty three exclamation point. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Ah. I was close, guys. It's Griff's twenty twenty three with an exclamation point at the end. <laughs> All right. Yep. All right. Good to go. This does have a. This is, this is a working hard to be one of the top innovators in using everything we can from the internet. So, guys, I know it's it's kind of new school, but it is the way to go. Everything from the tablets that we use for players keeping their own score to update. If you go on to Digital Pool and look up Chris Annual Lin Chow, Sam Lin Chow Tournament, you can actually see score on all the tables. So if you have somebody on a different table that's not on the live stream, you can go into Digital Pool, pull up the fifth annual Sam Lin Chow, and see live scoring from every table. So if you have somebody you want to watch, you go in there and see what, how they're doing at all times. The players keep the scores themselves with tablets, and so it's always live updated. I'll see if I can get the address while I'm sitting here hanging out and post it in live chat. We have a lot of family members coming and watching our match. So it helps for them to be able to, if they're not on the live stream, you can actually see how well they're doing. It is a race to 11, single elimination. Place the 15 in the final. This is a three-day event.
Give me one moment while I start to pull it up and get you a, a, a website for the digital pool. Pulling up the tournament when I went on digital pool tournaments, it was actually the second tournament came up. Okay, so I'm going to post the address to the digital pool. So you, if you want to go in and check out scores, there it is. I'm also going to go get a copy of the QR code. I don't know if I can post that, but we'll give it a shot, see what happens. You might not be able to post it. Somebody let me know if that address works for you guys. Sometimes it's a little weird in YouTube. Hmm. I don't see a way to post a picture. I can do grips and stuff, but I can't really do pictures. All right. It is the five four race. Mark the first shot. Number six ball. Take you some of those two rounds for the seven. Might be pulling it on three. Nice shot right there. Got position. Just get it back out the center table sometimes and you're pretty good. See how that goes. On this shot right here, this is a stroke shot. You cannot power this ball into the pocket. You can put a little bottom left on it and just pull it across the table. But this has to be complete stroke. You just shoot through it. The bottom left shoot through it. Oh, it says, that was as nice as it gets. Almost too nice. He's, I think he's straight in on the eight ball. The nine ball does go to the side pocket. If he pulls it back, he's just going to draw it back, most likely. Once again, same thing. Right? Or he's going forward. So then that's got a little bit of an angle. Yeah, he. Uh, I think I did just pulled it back. Just kept it very simple and strange. Okay. I don't know how to the pocket with that shot. He did get position, but he missed them all. You gotta make sure you make that. Mark, mark it shooting the eight ball. And that ball. He's going to sit down by the pocket. This is not a gimme. I'm not even sure he has a shot at this ball. He might be stuck. He does have a shot. He barely has a shot. And I think he's going to have to stick into it. Most likely. He had an edge. Anything good about this if ball is close to the pocket. So he's just gonna make this ball with a little top right. He didn't have just come across the table and shoot down this direction. Cool. 
Mm. Mm. That's okay. I'm doing I'm doing a commentary from back here. I got here late, so I couldn't set my booth. No, you're okay. You're, you're okay. Oh, guys, it's been it's been, it's been that kind of match, to be honest about. You have uh, right here, right you there. Have another one? I, it's, I got it charging up. It died yeah, on me I'll earlier. Jump in and, uh, Later on, please come yeah, on yeah. over. Uh, like for me, like when I'm comfortable, yes, I just, like, I'm just like good. Charisma, you That's know? me. That's me too. But if uh, if it's out of line, to say man, just you'll down. you'll never be out of line. Cause that's what I pre appreciate. I would rather have that than the boring conversation. Than no, boring. Man, you can fucking pull out like you know current events and talk about it. And, hey, what are your opinion on this? We don't want to get into politics, religion, blah blah. But you know, hey. This, what, 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 oh don't, man, don't don't give me what I need. No, 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 no. <laughs> I love that. We'll keep it clean. No, 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 I mean, he, no. Oh, so it's man. not gonna be clean, <laughs> Eric. Men, men. The uh, no, I don't, I, I don't like clean. I'd rather have just fun. Say what well, you mean and do it. Yeah. Don't be disrespectful. That's what I mean. Yes, that's that's I knew I mean. that's what you meant. That's don't be the whole machine man, Bony. Who is that guy? <laughs> ain't that dude? Well, I, I bet you <laughs> post like your game to be. I don't oh yeah, no, we're not doing that. Motherfucker, come on, my love. Who that guy? You know? Me and Jay were from the same town. That's right. Oh, you are? Where? Uh, Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington? Yeah. He in Camano, though. I'm in Everett. So. Born, and, we, born and raised there? Uh, For me, I came here when I was six. From, from Vietnam. From Vietnam. Oh, yeah, me. Yeah. That's definitely Vietnamese. And one out of, uh, oh, you came over boat? You yeah. came over on a when fishing I boat? Six, yeah, when I, six, we, I remember my dad. He was carrying me at, like, dark. You know, yeah, we six village. years six years old. You remember, for sure. For sure. Uh, bits and pieces, but yes. for the escape and you know, the whole war, I sat yes. down and talked to my dad about it. What year was that? So we escaped in 86. Yeah. And straight to Seattle, Washington, represent. Oh, shit. I can talk to Seattle, man. May, uh, listen, you're on right now. You're oh, talking right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can, yes. 100%. Let me get my mic charged up. Okay. So once again, this is just an ugly game. And I'm gonna tell you what. You know what? My voice is very vocal. Is there a way you can like? No. Maybe like, oh, just hell no. I we're just we're just gonna be we're gonna be back here. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, I love him already. I already got myself a commentary person. He's as he's as having enjoys pool as much as I do. Talking about it, learning it, loving it.
Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, dude, I had you. I'm gonna go do it myself here in a second. Hey, what about? All right, guys, sorry. I'm having issues with these. My mic is part of me not being here. Did you get it? Okay. Oh, where'd you get it from? No, go ahead and leave this one too. Give them two. Okay, no reason to throw it away. There you go, Marcus. I got two, brother. You got plenty of sugar. All right, guys, here we go again. Now we got a tie. Or, excuse me. I'm doing well. Yeah, I remember you. Where from? Remember Arnella played at five eighty five and then the last yeah, 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 I remember you coming down here. So <laughs> dude, I've, I've I've been running late all day and my freaking mics are dead and it's been a rough day today. I appreciate it. So guys the score is I am pretty sure the score is six to four five. Marcus gets hung at ten ball. He's fired in there, so they're just rolling it in. And uh, on these tables, they do not take balls like that. It's a tight pocket table. Let me get the score updated. I am. And Marcus is a lot like me, dude. He, just, he knows he should have won that last one easily. And so he's come out firing. He wants to run this back. Now here you have two options. You can, you can come for a shot to the corner pocket, or you can just roll it, roll, and shoot it to the side. Marcus has got a combo here, guys. Sorry, I'm, I'm still here, believe it or not. Keep the combo into a tight pocket, so you really have to hit this smooth. I mean, you got to go for it at this point. And you don't need to remember running a lot of balls, so I'm not sweating. I'm gonna go for it. Just roll in. Oh, we played safe. Okay, let's see, there you go. Never said I could call it shot. A nice shot right there. Give up nothing. Definitely kicking this one well. He is like that. Nice shot. He can play it to the side pocket. I'm one well back to the six. 
think this issue is he might have it looks like he might play safe again. Roll the cue ball up on the six ball, which is not a bad shot. He's got a little bit of a roll here. I do believe he gets it. The left edge of that five ball and then go down two tables. Down well. Let's see. Score is six five. Guys, remember you can go on Digital Pool if you want to see a score of a match that you do not watch on the live stream. It is live scoring. It is updated instantaneously from each table. That ball does go to the corner pocket. I mean, if you have the top inside angle, to make it come back up, back out to the seven in the same pocket. Two, three, eight, nine on the single table. Eight, nine, ten on the single table. Oh, six ball, a little inside, bring it back across the table. Down to the eight ball. Oh, he banked it. Uh, I'm a full believer in cutting before banking. You get positioned both ways. You see that there. Nice shot, a real carom shot. Hold a little bit long on him. So he's going to bank to play safe. I'm assuming he's going to play safe here. So the safe is either you go two rails, bring your six ball to this end of the on the end rail and keep all the back end, or you just throw one rail and throw it down there. So I think I think he might have been trying to make that ball. And what if he did it over? Six, cut it in. Come off the rail, back out to the eight now. So bottom left corner of the six ball, and back out for the eight ball. The biggest issue we might have is just making sure that he doesn't draw back into the side pocket. Take the cue ball. So I think I'm just going to get center in English and make the ball and let it roll out. Nice, just a nice turn shot. He tried, to, he tried to just hold it up. Fired that ball like he knew it had eyes. That was the 10 ball. That is a winner. The score is 7 5 now. Marcus is up. 
This is a race to 11 single elimination. 580 and under, $1,000 entry fee. The fifth annual Sam Lin Chow. Sam Lin Chow won the very first inaugural tournament. And, and right afterwards, got into a car accident and was killed. So Marcus made this in a memory to Sam. Very young guy, guys. So remember, life is short. You just don't ever know. So enjoy and love your life. You only get one. Marcus did make a ball on the break. They made the two ball. One from the one to the three on this end of the table, down by the ten. See if we can just pull this two ball in behind the ten. The free ball down table. Looks like he's going to take the two ball behind the nine four. Gives him two balls, three balls. There we go. Nice shot. Gives him multiple balls. Get safe. Oh, and put it up tight against the four ball. There's a little bit of a gap. So Mark should be able to go to the far end of the table one round. I will have some co-commentary here in a little bit. So, what did he just call? What just happened, Mark? Mark, magic rack was hanging over the over the edge of the thing, and the cue ball hit it, so it's a foul. Really? Okay, that's good to know. Okay, that's fine. All right. So, guys, what happened is that the I guess the magic rack was sitting over the edge of the rail a little bit, and when the cue ball came around, it hit it. Um, so. Mark, uh, so it was called if Mark asked, was it a foul? And Marcus, of course, tournament director, of course, said, okay, that's fine. So now the rule is if the magic rack is hanging over and the cue ball or ball comes and hits it, it is a foul. So we'll keep in mind. Um, Once again, I think that comes down to the brings up another one of those. You're in a tournament, and um, I personally, if that was me, I would have just moved it back onto the table and shot my shot. But when sometimes when a person's getting beat, they got to find something to get them going. Sometimes it's on a foul. I promise you Marcus would not have called a foul on that if it happened. He would just simply put it back on the table. But sometimes, uh, you know, people look for a reason to get themselves motivated. Just don't let karma get you. Because sometimes karma gets you when you do stuff like that. He's on a seven ball. He's got him out here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, 
I'm not a fan of calling stuff like that, but that's just me. He does have himself a very nice outfit. Hey, why do you duck under? Like you're short. Short, you're already short. I'm with the camera. Oh, camera's over there. Oh, <laughs> you're not behind the camera. That's way better. Then last year you had it on the table. So, I didn't do it last year. Okay. I've come in and reorganized everything. Okay. Yeah, and they you had this one on the second table too, but because I ran late this morning, I didn't get it all set up. So, I, I did you know, it. I was a producer for 15 years. We made our first movie. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I said, yeah, I have the link. Right what was it? It's called Bullets, uh, Fistful of Cash. You know, just throw I'm a movie. Call movie? No, no. It's, uh, <laughs> no it's still, it was like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's fun, funny. Yeah, that's how you do it, man. Right? Yeah, he, he knows about the Got you now, you messed up. Oh. I heard you over there talking smack. Tell us the Texas fine. <laughs> no, the good people, you know. No, good people, there's nothing wrong with that, right? That's life is very short. Can you see me? I can. Can you? <laughs> I can I always do this so oh, sometimes yeah. so I just I put that seat over there because I knew you were gonna join me and I wanted to get some spot because both of us are kinda loud, so I wanted to make sure we didn't interrupt the match. Right, 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 right. Oh, that's why we're So did here. you see what just happened in the last game? No, I was just... Uh... So Marcus played a really nice safety. Okay. And when he played the safety, I guess the magic rack was over the rail like a little bit, like an eighth of an inch, and the cue ball hit into it as he's playing the safety. Oh, wow. And so Mark called it a foul on him for hit hitting the magic rack. No, I don't think uh, you can call a foul, can you? Marcus gave it to him. Oh, okay, gotcha. But I, but I, me personally, I'm not calling a foul on that. I'm just no. gonna, I'm gonna take and say, hey, look, I hit the rack. Only get to make sure it's off the table for yeah. the next shot, right? For for but, me, yeah. For me, when I get into uh, like matches, you know, like the, you know, some sets like this, stuff like that. Yes. The uh, the magic rack. If I take it, or who else take it? You know, it's just you know community thing. You know, if he bump it, I bump. We just put them all back. You know what I mean? So I think that's how I think of that. But that's good that Marcus gave it. Um, I actually met Marcus in uh, Illinois. We were playing in a tournament. Five, Which is where he lives now. He is... lives in, no, he lives in Indianapolis. Oh, he, oh, he lives in Indiana then? In that, Indiana, oh. yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Is it Indiana different from Indianapolis? I kind of feel I kind of feel the grace. capital of Indiana. <laughs> oh, okay. <Gotcha. laughs> I feel great school, so. Sorry, you did a fine yeah. job. The, and well, this is what happened. So it was on, it was, so Marcus played a great safety on the three ball. Mm. And because he gave him ball in hand, Mark ran out. Oh, wow, how many balls left with us on the eight? So the three out. With, uh, yeah, and so it was a great safety too. He's probably most likely Marcus would have got this ball in hand because it was a great safety. So Marcus played a safety? No, Mark. Played. It's Mark against Marcus. Oh, okay. Oh, Mark and Marcus. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. So Mark played the, the no Marcus played the great safety yes, and then Mark called the foul. Gotcha. Yeah, it's uh, so great just to be out here, you know, in this tournament because how I look at it, uh, just every all the monsters in that division, the 580 and other division, you sure. know, congregate here. We got Arizona, we got California. I'm from Seattle, Washington, yeah, and then we got. Cool. West Coast, we got Marcus, you know, from uh, Indiana, and we got. He's you actually know, from Las Vegas. They moved from here to there. That's why he brought it here. Oh, yeah, Marcus. He, he moved to Las Vegas. He used to live here. Oh yeah, yeah. He told me about that. Yeah, but he then he moved in here. 
Yeah. So he's West Coast. I mean, even though he lives in Indiana now. Yeah. But, but he travels all the time. But he was always on the road. job. Let's see what he got here with the. Uh... Oh, he hit that. He hit that pretty clean. So he saw. So he said foul. He put that bag paper. But all of a sudden now he's got his stroke and he's. He playing. he was the one that played the foul. He, he was the one that played the foul, right? Yeah. He Mark Mark was all calling. Oh, and I forgot Montana in the house. Mark Schuster, yeah. he's, he's shooting right now. Forgot to mention Montana. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. no, he's We sure. represent. We got Alaska. You know, definitely all the West Coast. Yeah, this, 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 this from all of the country. Actually, oh, it was my fun. Nice. So it's just such a blast. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, next year I can come back. You know? Dude, we'd love to have you back because oh. I'm telling you what, though, I'll make sure my mics are fired up and ready to go for <laughs> yeah. you. I'm serious. I could be right when I was ready to put you on, the second mic died. They, so, did uh, you ever thought about like maybe doing? Because uh, I was in film production for like 15 years. Sure. You know? We made a full featured movie, and I had my TV show back in. We made our first movie in 2005. Oh, so really? It's been like, yeah, it's been like 19, 20 years ago. Um, but, so you were talking about me doing what? Like if you. Uh, have you thought about having like some something in the mic where you can hear uh, you you talk? So I have headsets. Oh, have you have? So it's just over here. So no. So normally, yeah, normally I would use a headset if oh. I can do that. But I've been it's using these lately. It's just so much more clearer. And, really? Oh yeah, and noise reduction is fantastic on this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's great. So but this, this but I need to get that. I need. I do need to get a an earphone setup to where I can listen to what's going right, on. Right, right, right. But, this is uh, it's a critical shot here on the road. Oh man, I'm on the seven. Now. He, he's jumping over the ten ball. Ooh, nice almost shot. made that nice too. Shot. That's Montana, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even jump. Uh, uh, my life depended on it. So, I'm uh, trying to think of the best part of Montana. I just can't think about what it is. is that no, it is uh, <laughs> hunting. I, oh yeah, I guess hunting. 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 Marcus can stop the shot right here. Let's he just pull it out. He says jacked up this a little bit. We don't even need to do a whole lot. We should make this ball and do a shoot to the corner of the side. And don't worry, position it. Oh, so that's jacked up this shots like that. Is, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think that's jacked up on that ball. I think I'm going to make it sooner or either. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's going to be like that. Hey guys, close the door. We got, or come on in each other. It's okay. We got, we got matches going. Yeah, come on. So just go to the bar and you can get a table. Thanks, guys. All right, so Mark's on the seven ball, seven, shooting seven, to the corner. Yeah, we, 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 we. So it's my mistake. I have a booth and everything, but I just got there late this morning. I thought the permit started tomorrow. And went through, so I thought it was Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Oh. It's completely my bad. I'm not set up better. You know, um... Hopefully next year we can we can do something like maybe like a five day tournament and maybe extend this for uh, do double elimination. You know, I'm I'm so thinking I, I, I don't think it's going to change it because it's five years now and it's been going great for five years. Yeah, but you have you have like you know you have uh, other players in there that you know that can. Uh, uh, what's rough? What's rough is if you're here the first day and it's single elimination and you lose your first match. I get it. I understand what you're saying. There's a lot of pressure. In but you you can't game. you can't do a race eleven though. You do double elimination, uh, double elimination, oh, no, something no. like maybe nine to eight, nine eight, nine, nine, nine eight, nine eight. I think. Yeah, nine, that'd be nine, nine seven. And then you know why not, man? Extend this from uh, it's been going on for like you know the past uh, years with uh, Friday's three day. Why not make it five? You know, I'm having a blast over here. I, I wish I could say five. <laughs> So what do you think about this shot? You think he can Ooh. try to hold, try to yeah, hold this, tries to hold this ball up? I yeah, think this, he's this, up. this this is all the money right here. So he's got to make it time. Keep on rolling to the pen. Keep on yeah. rolling to the pen, right? Well, maybe he just needs a little bit, a little bit, a little bit low in there. Around it, but can you hold it at that point? I guess you get pressed on that. Yeah, but is there a chance to hold it? You know what? The biggest issue. You know what? I would run into that. That's one thing. If, even if you get bad on the leash, you got you got close and that's on this one. Yeah. Yes, yes. This is gonna be a tough one right here. You got, you got all the money here right here. 
money in one pocket. Yeah. And this will get it even seven seven. Big 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 game right here. Seven seven. Or it's eight, seven six, six right now. Yeah. The yeah. seven seven or eight seven. Race to eleven. Hold a minute. He's calling the corner part of the bank. Um. I think you can go for it. I don't see a real goal in your breath. No, even you know, the old school safety is, yeah. is, to, is to send that ball over about two inches and let the ball get far into the table. Oh, no good. Like, oh. It's going to come out straight in the side. In the nope, straight in the corner. Okay, it rolls. Man, that's all the money in the world right there. Oh, 8 6. That's no pressure tough. at all. No. <laughs> Some other <laughs> minutes. <laughs> no pressure. First, my, my biggest issue is getting through my first matches. Yeah. So, single, What's elimin up, single elimination race to the Houston level. in the house. Oh, right. Yeah, Houston in the house right. representing the West High, man. <laughs> the West no side. donations. <laughs> all right. All right. We got an 8 6 match. 8 now. 6 match. Hey, can I do a shout out to Seattle, Washington? I said, I'm watching this Min Lee. I know y'all room for me. I just want to let you know, all you haters out there, my, my song just came out called, well, I have a demo. It's called McCory and Cronies. This is for Justin McCory. For all the oh, money that. Oh, you did? You did? The entire thing is wrong. <laughs> you did not. Well, I mean, it is. It has to be for itself. <laughs> you help me out? Yeah. So back to my shout out, Seattle, Washington. Hey, we represent big all time. I don't have a system. What is it? <laughs> this guy, I don't slow. Hey, this guy's a hustler, man. He's, he's Houston's finest. He right is there. from Texas. Hey, I mean, Texas yeah, want? man. He's a Texas finest. They can right even there. break dance. Smell. You see that? <laughs> I smell them, man. Yeah, I smell they, them, they, too. Just I just that. smell them, but they smell blood. You know, they, they, they roll me. But, yeah, I just uh, want to shout out Marcello, Gerardi, uh, Gerardo, and uh, myself represent Seattle. It's just great to be here. Uh, so, how many players you got down there with you? Three? Uh, Three of you? Two. Two. Two, two more? No, just two. Just two. You and your partner? Yeah. We uh we share an a, uh, Airbnb. That's but nice. What'd you pay for it? Oh, man. It was uh 800 for two of us. For how many days? Four days. Four days. Uh, four is... nights and five days. We leave four, really four, four nights and five so days? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, four, four days and uh, five days. Four nights and five days. That's, that's not... It's... Yeah, you got two of you, so you're splitting costs, so it's 400 bucks a piece. Yeah, that's good. Dude. That's, it's, that's, it's like a five minute walk from here. Is, is it a house, a townhouse, a townhouse? Yeah, it looks like it's like a townhouse. Let's see what Mark can come back with it yeah. and try to jump and make it too. And, and just, you just hold up right there, yeah? Nothing oh, crazy. Right. Just make it spawn as good as you get. Uh, it Marcus, uh, he's come a long way. When I met him in the uh, 555 and under in Chicago, or no, in Illinois. 555 and under yeah it was it was two years ago and uh you know we flew well all the way out there didn't know what to expect but um based on what i've seen marcus you know he just he just uh was a runner up in the tournament in the moby dick oh yeah it, no it was yeah it was the moby dick last year which what was what was the uh handicap on that one that was no there was no handicap this was oh that was no he he actually he got the runner up for the gilligan's island Oh, the Gilligan? Yeah, there was a 545 and under, 549 something. From MOBs and... Uh, what's what's his, you know his Fargo is? I don't even know what his Fargo Marcus, is. Marcus, his Fargo is like around like 556 around there right now. Okay, okay. You know, I always, I always say his Fargo is underrated. Man. He should be, we should adjust it to a 650. Do you know, <laughs> do you, do you know what my rule is on that? Huh. I don't think people sandbag. I think you should always be better than your Fargo. If your Fargo no, is, that is if, true. That if is your true. Fargo is higher than what you are, that's because I mean, that means you're not on the table enough. You better yes. get on the table. You should always be better than your Fargo, better, yeah. and that's it true. should follow you up. Somebody says, "Well, he plays better than Fargo." You should play better. Than that Fargo. is very true. If you're putting the time in the game, you should always be better than Fargo. So there's this gentleman that just snapped in the 625 and under tournament over in Arizona. I don't want to put him on the spot. Is he in this tournament? No, because he was in last year. Uh, but he snapped that off, right? His Fargo was 601. And he outran, I mean, like when you have these uh, Cat Fargo 625, yes. 580, you know, maybe Sandbagger is like the, not a, the right terminology, but you know, you have all these guys, like you said, you know. No, it's, it's like Sandbagger they, is the right thing. For some people. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. For, for some, some people, people. yeah. They, they say, like Ian just, Costello from Las Vegas. Yeah. I know you span bagging, homie. Yeah. 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 Ian's my partner. Don't call my partner. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but we did just have a, a 525 and under. And a guy came in here from Louisiana at 515. What uh, what his robustness? What his robustness? He had a robust of about 600. Ooh, that's why they jacked this up to 800. It needs to be eight for eight? sure. You think so? Yeah, five and six is you can you can artificially be five and six easily. The uh, and the, and there's no cheese. When I, I started my Fargo work about four years ago, and I'm already like three thousand, but I pay my nationals a lot. Oh wow! National. So mine's about four hundred, four thousand or so. But well, speaking of the Fargo, yeah, because I'm all new in this commentary. But uh, you are. Well, you're they, pretty damn good at it. No, no, I just, I'm just like telling like my story. You know? I know you're doing a great job. That's uh, what the, I'm saying. The, uh, oh, thank you, thank you. Um, the uh, story of Fargo. What's up, Charlie? How you doing, big dog? So the the Fargo, my Fargo, like within one and a half weeks, it was from 574 for this tournament. It jumped to 588. Oh my gosh! And it came down to the wire like three days before I leave. For this tournament yes. to Vegas, yeah. and I was I was freaking out. I'm calling Marcus. I FaceTime. I say, "Wow, okay, let's get back to the that shot right there. That was a beautiful, clean, clean, and uh, my Marcus on the so here's the biggest thing here is like when they've been overpowering us while trying to thaw it back too much instead of just taking the shot and bringing back a couple of hits, maybe you make the nine, right? This is the this is right easy. There. This is straight easy to miss. Yes. Oh man, you hit that That's, good, yeah, perfect. He's like a little bit of tough, tough on that track. He, he is on the ground. He, he's a little bit off. He's off the railing yeah. after where he's straight. He's off the railing without getting too much this. space in it. He makes this. He makes this. It's going to be 8-7. Eight, 8-7 seven. Eight, seven or 9-6. And they've been missing. Hold it. 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 Wow. That's center box. Yeah. Man, I'm getting just a man. 8-7. No. No pressure on that. Shot. <laughs> I, mean? I was just like, damn, you, you come from Montana. There's no pressure on the shot like that because you might be going home right there. Fucking one match, dude. <laughs> oh my God. So let me ask you something that's because different people different things. I know 100% fact that there was pressure on you before you started your game today. Match. Ooh. Right? There's always pressure. More on that, whether it's, whether it's, excitement to just be in it and ready to go but whether it's a little bit of nerves i don't think it's ever nerves i think it's adrenaline i think your adrenaline just gets going so much so strong yeah that people think it's nerves but it's more adrenaline because you're man you get pumped right get pumped. so in your match today which you had a fairly easy match well no uh he, he what was the final score let's start with that the final score was 11-2 but okay but there's a but in there right okay sure he 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 was he just got like, like literally like three bad goals on the eight or the seven ball, you know. And let and me short out. Yeah, let me a short out. But you know, all those balls are like, you know, I bring in my five year old daughter, she can make those because they're like <laughs> hanging right up on the right. So that that I always momentum. say my grandmother. Yeah. So so I think I think part of it is uh, adrenaline. Part of it is momentum. And then, like you know, just the momentum, like roll on my side. Just get you got all the rolls. Yeah, it's not taking away what I did too. I right. mean, I made, you I made. You had yeah. to still get out. Yeah, so I had to still get, to get out. But so then, my question is: Do you think you play better when the pressure is on, or when, or when you're relaxed? When I'm relaxed. You do. I say I play better when the pressure's on. Really? I, I don't. I can get up for it. But you the, do. The minute I relax, it's like it's like I'm, I'm playing a perfect oh, man. down. If I get, and I, if I get. Get that much pressure, I'm gonna miss a straight game. So 100%. Huh? They are, and you're, you're on the live stream right now, sir. Brother, come on. This is, oh. Come on. 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 The Fargo situation, right? So I'm I'm like 574, and then a week and a half before I come over here, yeah. jump to 588. But you were already in the tournament, right? No, but you in the tournament, oh, but when you, once you get to 590, they You're refund out. your money. Yes, yes. And so we had we had planned this like literally a year, and I've been waiting a year. I'm so excited. I work. I'm telling everybody. Right. 
pumped up, get make pumped sure everybody up. knows you got like a three shot. days, three days before my trip. I mean, this could be a, like a year's paycheck almost. Yes, <laughs> I mean, definitely my paycheck. You know? <laughs> I quit my job to go on the road, you know, yes. like ten mile radius <laughs> within my hometown. You know, that's why I'm, I'm so, broke. <laughs> so it's crazy. Like in my day, you'd have never seen a tournament like this. But there's there's more than one of these. Like there's another one. I think uh, Florida. It's the next one in Florida? Yeah, that's in so, December. That's uh, with Dominic Dunn. Hey, Dunsky, Dungeon. Yeah. Oh, want to give yeah. you a shout you out. That? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Florida did the Calcutta. We're going to try to, you know, get a part piece of that too, Seattle, Washington. <laughs> so here's the thing. You, you go out in, in like two weekends, you can go in and play hard and win two tournaments. That's like, shit. That's that's like, like 80 grand. 80 to 100 grand. <laughs> <laughs> for, two, for two weekends and you're having fun too you know it's there like was it's never, a, there was a never money like that when i was a kid there, 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 zero chance really oh yeah are you kidding me i thought pro, I was, pro events were only like 75 bucks i'm old <laughs> pro events were like you old let me years. ask you this man. yes are you older than dirt or you named dirt <laughs> <laughs> oh. no speak, speaking of old age time and all these guys just wow you look know. how mean that was <laughs> You're lucky. You're lucky that I respect people that do that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm okay with it. Because now I know your payback's coming. <laughs> I wasn't so sure that I, you know, I have to, I have to find out how a person is was looking up online. Like so, <laughs> next time, just know payback's coming. Oh Did shit! You, I, 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 I haven't been watching the board. Is there a time that was, did they give you some kind of idea of when you're gonna play your next match? So uh, last year we had we had like uh, 64 like on the dot. Yeah, yes. Uh, it was 63, and then you know Jim, um, it's a Jim Chrome, Chrome, Chrome. Okay. His wife ended up playing. So, but this year we only have 40. Is it 40 on the nose? Yes, 40. And so I spoke with Brandon, and he said for my match, he said that uh, he's gonna wait until Marcus complete his match to kind of find out. If we want to start setting up all the time see how they go yeah 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 like uh instead of instead of just waiting to drag out three day why don't we just see if we can uh, yeah so 40 players that does make it a, a little bit better see I mean, if he wants to do, do the so right now i think we're playing nine tables and it's like no no so this table is playing right yeah two, this is one two oh, about ten. oh the other one too so eleven no one wait five let me we're playing left ten to play hard. Yes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thirteen. Yes, we're playing ten K. But he was he was telling me so there's four matches, so it'll be like um, maybe he said check back in four hours. So yeah. to to see if the the match my second match. But he gotta to talk to Marcus to see if they wanna they wanna like get into the money today and kinda of clear you know, get through the matches so get into the money today or just wait. Have long. they posted money already? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Um, that's fine. He's also going to post. I think it's a post in chat. Yeah, well, it's a three day event. So yeah, it's a three day event. So we have plenty of that. What from what Brandon, it seems like Brandon is, is going to run it, right? Uh, bar manager? He is, the, he, he is the general manager of this school. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. So he, 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 was, he was talking about, um, you know, it doesn't it make sense to you know, get in the money today, but he just got to run it through. It's gonna run it through by Marcus. Yeah, I would be surprised to get some money today. Definitely the money tomorrow. I'm, I'm very surprised. Usually money is back on the last day. Oh, that was a nice kick shot right there. Yeah, I always have trouble with that. Here we go. That's a good hit too. Nice and clean. So, you played in it last year. Mm -hmm. Is that the first time you played in it? Yeah. And how'd you finish? I finished. Well, I beat. I won one. I got to the second round. I got out. What? Yeah. Man, last year was rough here. <laughs> oh, you my know, God. So that's I why brought, you came here. Like, brought, I'm winning this first I, round. I brought all my savings. You know, I'm going to double down <laughs> on Vegas. <laughs> it's funny because I took a picture, you know. And I, had, I was kind of tired, so I just lay down. Sure. Just on the ground, just a rest. I took sure. a picture, and I said, you know, they leave my left. Jonathan, you got that? No. Oh, shit. Hey, we'll in the middle of talking. What was the score? That was Arizona, everybody. Jonathan Craig represent. Man, that's, that's why I don't ask how they did because in case they don't. No, no, I know Jonathan. He was here last year and we went out to him last year. Oh, you did? Well, we're very. Uh, you became a pretty good friend. Yeah. That's, that's one. Of, that's one of the things, like you know, as a player like myself, growing up, I never had anything like this. 
And I tell you right now, it's just like, you know, yeah, you, you, you're on vacation, you're participating participant in this tournament, but at the same time, you're building, you know, uh, long, you know, lifetime friends. That's so this is, this is what I, this is, so as a pool player, and I've been a pool player for many, many, many years. You have? Before you were born. <laughs> you were surprised, man. Uh, you'd be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> I got a bad case of CRS. So <laughs> can't remember shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's a young boy. But, but the pool community. And it's like a family. So you're yes. like you can you can literally go to a town that you've never been in there that yep. you moved to. Yep. And you get in you just if you just join a little pool league or you play pool tournaments, you have you have almost yep. instantaneous friends yep. and, and family because they take care of each other. Ninety percent of people take care of each other. You know, my dad, he uh seventy eight, right? He's seventy eight, my mom's seventy one, and she's sicker than her How old are you? I'm forty four. Oh, you're a baby. I'm a young person. Mm -hmm. No, the because uh, my dad every day he get up, uh, he drive to the beach, and he'll walk for 45 minutes and come back home. That's you, what it takes, right? You, you probably think, well, you know, that's not much, but you know, the guy is like mobile at 78. My mom, you know, she said, oh, my mom is 71. Oh, hold on a sec. We got. Oh, come on, bro. We want you to help with the scream. Hey, have sit, have sit right here. How did you do yesterday? Oh, I lost my ass. What, what's your name again? Huh? Hi. Mike. Where are you from? Uh, Florida. Okay, so Florida, Florida, Florida Florida's, Florida's, Florida's finest Florida's is here. Mike yeah. represents it. Hi, Mike. Oh, what's up, Pedro? <laughs> Bota from Rax Billiard. Just saying what's up. Yeah. Oh, Stanford? Yeah. Is that where you're from? That's my room. That's my I grew room. up in Orlando. Yeah, yeah. So I, I stay Tyler. Tyler Steyer a lot. Mess around with Shane Bamboing a little bit. So, so y'all know who I am. <laughs> hold on. What's your name? Are you, you're introducing me like a <laughs> Mike, Mike Lindford, Florida's man. Finest, Florida's no, finest. Florida's finest. <laughs> Are you in this tournament today? No, no. no. Parker too high? Yeah, 687. There so you go, 700 player. Player, man. <laughs> so, I had a layover from... You don't have uh, to talk I, that I, loud, trust me. I had a layover <laughs> from Atlantic <laughs> City, man. So <laughs> it was four hours. I went and played poker and I... Want a little bit of jackage and decided to stay a day or two. It's like I so, another so you so you tell me you just played in the uh, U.S. Open? No, no, I was down there just supporting a couple of my couple of my guys. I appreciate. It. So I'm from I'm from uh, Orlando. Right on. So I'm a Florida boy. Uh, who who do you, who do you play against a lot in Florida? I mean, there's a lot of decent players in Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's a, there's a there's a lot of good players. I like I, I like Pedro Boda's room uh, over at Rax Billiards. Sure. So there's a there's a few players that come in and out through there. I mean, obviously uh, Pedro's a player in his own right, so I have a lot of respect for him. Uh, that uh, Tony, his partner, is, is good action. So I mean, good good food, good establishment. Go down if you guys are in the uh, Central Florida area and, and check out Rax Billiards. So I've been in Las Vegas for 20 years and went back there six months ago and I went into Rax. Very nice place, man. He's clean, like really nice establishment. Great ownership, support pool. Uh, 100%. They, they have that Janil that has five or six leagues going out of there a week. I mean, the place is... Uh, it's top notch for pool. They're doing a lot of good things on there. Yeah, they are. The, uh, so do you play like uh, not nah, back in the day? It was called the Florida Tour. Yeah, the Seminole Tour. Did they call it Seminole yeah, Tour yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I know. Thing uh, change. I'm, I'm on the road too much. To be honest with you, I don't have time. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, what I do uh, uh, professionally and uh, uh, habit wise, I, I'm, I'm gone a lot. <laughs> so is it, so is it you're on the road playing pool or you're on the road working? Uh, I'm, I'm on the road involved with pool. I'm not necessarily playing pool. I mean, okay, I, so what do you do? I, I get involved with a lot of the bigger players. I put a lot of these big matches together. Oh, you do? I do. So a lot of the action matches? Yeah, I mean, if there's a, if there's been 300,000 our matches played this year, I was in all three of them. As backing? Or? Yeah, as backing. Oh, no shit. Yeah, I mean, we, we streamed a nice match here with uh, Tyler Steyer and Edgy Geronimo. We, uh, sure. Very good. That very, one. very good match. And that was a... Hundred twenty thousand dollar match total, you know, uh, yeah. each on table t uh, eleven. Yeah, and, uh, was, obviously uh, Tyler showed a lot of heart. Now we were down 10, 11 games after day two, and uh, came back uh, and edged them out. We saw the playing from his part. Edge's tough competition. Sure. Well, we played uh, John Moore a couple times down here, and John Moore is also a fine player. Yeah, Mr. Smooth. Mr. Smooth. Yeah, I'm done learning something every day. I just, uh, I've been playing pool for a long time. Like I said, but I, I've had a sense of course. When I played, it was uh, Florida Boards still, and then uh, 
a few other things. I mean, I'm, I'm an old man. I don't tell nobody that. I think I think if you were to say like Florida, I think once a month, uh, somewhere throughout that central uh, location, uh, our central Florida location. Sure. There's a there's a five to seven thousand dollar tournament for somebody to be had once a month. Sure. You know, I mean, that's, uh, that's, that's, I don't know too many states where that exists. So, so are you talking about like from Browns all the way over to Family Beards in Tampa? To from, from, from Tampa to Jacksonville. You yeah. Know, a, okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. Sure. All the way up to 95. Yeah. Corridor. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a good place. Lots of, uh, I don't want to necessarily call them short stop, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of seven or Fargo's around there. You know what I mean? So, yes. A lot of good, let's, yeah. even when I grew up down there, there so many pros down there. I got very lucky. I was just born. A long time ago, so I got in the nineties and eighties and nineties. I got to play a lot of the champions in seventy-five dollar tournaments. I mean, yeah, that's all they yeah. were to you play. Like the Kennedys and those guys. I played. Yeah. Oh, well, Tom. I yeah. Know, Tom, yeah. Tommy grew up right, like, or he was shooting pool right in the same area I was. He's still around there taking those tournaments off. He's always, he's always going far in those tournaments. I mean, yeah. the majority of them are bar tables now, but uh, yeah, he still, still gets there a little bit. He does. Still finds, finds, a, finds a way to win. I don't really know too much about these players here. I'm just kind of sniffing around, like. Who's the best player here? So I can Look, maybe <laughs> get some side action. Sweat, sweat I don't that. even know how. How do, you, how do you approach it? I really don't know how. So it's it's very difficult to do sweat bets. Usually the sweat bettors don't even come in until four o'clock in the afternoon, not later. Right. Uh, I, come, I come in yesterday, and this this kid wants to play right. Uh, I said, "Hey, play some cheap one pocket." Okay. And. Uh, I go play like 50 or 100 a game. You go, let's do a race to three for a thousand. So, I mean, my eyes light up, right? My eyes light up. I want to know who the kid was. Uh, I, I have his name in my in my phone. I, uh, you but do he, now. But anyway, <laughs> He's now in your little book. <laughs> um, so, so, I, so I stall him a little bit. Go, let's at least do a race to four for a thousand. I beat him I beat him four nothing. And he's, you know, you're too good, man. man I, can't, I, know who, I, can't, I, I can't play you no more. He, I go, I'll give you something. He goes, no, you're too good at, you're too good at one puck. I don't want to play you. So I don't want to play you. I go, come on, man. Let's play one more set. He goes, listen, I got gamble, man. You're too good. At, you're too good at. You're too good at uh, one pocket. One pocket. So I don't want to play you no more. But I'll show you. I got gamble. I'll flip it. Double nut for a thousand dollars. So he forced me to say yes. I win the flip. I, Where my, are you? <laughs> for a thousand. So I win two thousand dollars. I was only here for four games. I'm settling in. Today. I got. I got. Got me a little cranberry sprite and watched uh, these other guys play pool for a couple. I don't know who you play. Oh, I have it. He he, he zelled me. He zelled me money. So, uh, what is his name? He zelled me money. I hope I don't get somebody. In hey, what was the kid's name that we were playing yesterday? I forget his name. Aaron Conway from <laughs> from from from, from uh, California. Hey, man. Aaron Conway. I mean, look yeah, that, yeah, is. that guy is a straight role player. He's a character right here. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm still representing Washington. <laughs> Seattle. Hey, speaking of Washington, Seattle, what's up to those uh, jam up people? That Damian Ping Pong down there, I love them. How you doing, Damian? I got it. I got it. We got a match here. We got the uh, nine seven race to eleven. Marcus is winning. What was the entry fee for thing? A thousand dollars. Thousand dollar entry fee. Single elimination. Last, race. last year, we only got forty players this year. A lot of people backed out. A lot. Of, he had sixty four set up. A lot of people backed out. The um, last year we had a 60 point and paid 52,000 for first place. Right. That's a pretty good payout. I mean, uh, the kid from Sacramento won that. Uh, young yeah, kid, he, yeah. he got a good little payday. And then the last two that were here in uh, the last the two. Mob, were, the, the mob. Uh, uh, what is it? Mako or whatever? Yeah. yeah. I, I guess uh, I guess Utah represents in that. I guess that Saudi won one and then Jules won one, both from Utah. I guess we're the cream of the crop for the 580s. Huh? Boy, I tell you. <laughs> 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 and we get them all. <laughs> like it's all over the country come here for this tournament because they need to get paid. Yeah, I know. If you, you can win two of these two weekends, you can make a hundred grand. I know. And now they be. now they're having one in Florida coming up in uh, I think either November, I think December. Yeah, yeah, at Rax. Yeah, that, uh, that, oh, that is at, that's yeah, at Rax. Dominic Gunsky is running that. Yeah, solid dude there too, man. Does yeah. a lot for cool. So he's he, I got him as. I, Send all my stuff to him because he pretty much he helps with my streams. I post them and I do with him for 100. percent Yeah. The uh, man, I had something else I wanted to say. Now it's again. Hey, let me tell you how bad I'm running.
All right, guys, sorry about that. We had a little bit of an internet issue. Score is 10 to 7. Marcus is on the hill. Glitch, but we're back now. Glitch, but we're back now. across the table and now he's switching up and he's on the sixth ball perfect position on the sixth ball for shooter to pass seven ball is in his side pocket oh just got a little bit of a roll there I just called it a little too hard. He did get safe on it. Oh, you can. Thank you.
you definitely left him an out right here. Sometimes it's hard to finish that last game. You take just a little bit off of your stroke and you end up having just having a little bit of an overcut. Left it in the pocket. Ten ball is in the pocket also. So it's going to be 10 to 8, race to 11. Oh. A great opportunity there, there to finish this match up. Let me get the shear back out there, guys. Sorry. I had to drip down on the. One second, guys. I'll be with you. All right, so Marcus is on the hill. Mark needs three. Marcus needs one.
Marcus is shooting under four ball. I think he just went there. A little safety, take the four ball down rail. But the, if you could put that cue ball right in between the five and six and up on the ten ball, it's almost an automatic ball in hand. Okay, so he ran over a cross table. I believe he left him a shot here. How much of a shot I can't really tell, but it looks like he's definitely looking to shot him. And he tried to play a safety and left Marcus a shot on the four ball. Sorry guys, we had just a little internet glitch. I apologize. Still have to be patient here. And settle into this last game. Played up underneath the five ball. Pretty easy safety here. Just find the five ball down table and sit up on the ten ball. Could actually break that seven ball out just a little bit and be safe. This is live from Drift's Billiards. Okay, he did I bit of shut the five ball down table, but he decided to just get as much gap as he can in between. So he does have an out here, he gets a 5, 6, he's got the 8, 9, everything is wide open. Um, this table is tight. So these guys have been playing, you gotta, you really just gotta be able to play ugly pool and not let it get to you. It's smooth and clean. So things are gonna happen. A lot of pressure in a single elimination thousand dollar entry fee tournament. Oh, what a shot! Clean, simple. Two balls going to come across where you can shoot the six ball to the same pocket. Got a little bit of an angle there, you might be able to just make this ball then go in the corner of the table one round, maybe two. Just make sure you make this ball, you can't shoot the pocket on the table. There we go, you got a shot on the best ball. Just a little I got lucky the ball ends up on the end of the table. I don't know if that ball is frozen to the rail or not, but it's pretty close. I'm assuming he looked and uh,
that ball and got a roll. Monkey's gonna have to go two rows in behind this ball. Or not, he's gonna jump and try to cut it in. Okay, my bad. I prefer to kick over the jump shot because a lot of things can happen with the jump shot. Easy kick. And he, got a little, he missed it, but he came in behind it. Got a good hit. Sorry guys about the internet glitch. Please get please guys subscribe, like and share. Everything helps for us so we can keep bringing this stuff to you. Trying their hardest to get to a thousand subscribers. We're at 421. I appreciate it, but it's, there is a Joe's True Repair here in Las Vegas does have a $25 gift certificate, $25 value that we give away, a couple of them a day. Good for a chef cleaning and repair. Guys, please don't. Just the light, this is sunlight. Mark does have a pretty decent out here. We will have to use the bridge. him to get to nine. This is the race to 11. Marcus is on the hill. Marcus at eight, obviously. This is single elimination. have action around the bar. On table one, which is the oh, just have this shot. See that ball jumps out enough to give him a shot to the side pocket. I it's very makeable, I think. I don't say very makeable, but it's makeable. So I'm definitely seeing this ball with good pocket speech. If I don't make it the ten ball ends up on the end round. We call him thinking thinking to win, baby. Thank to win. Here we go. For the money. Thanks are not open today. And no gimme left. No gimme left on this shop right here. Move on. Gotta move on for that shot that he has, but he could have already finished this game. Opportunity still here. I guess he definitely if Mark makes this game, he's still got options to do that. He's going to get multiple shots at a 10 ball to win this game. So let the effect that he missed the 9 ball earlier. Oh, and he's going to have a very mixed ball, ball here. It might be. Let's see what he got here for an angle. Straight in the pocket. This ball is dead straight. 
nice and clean center pocket, and you're good. Nothing crazy. Good stroke to it. Good belt. He fired that ball into the wind. 11 8. Good match, Mark. Guys, I'm going to take a five minute break and I'll be back. So we got Constantine and Wynn playing in this match out, okay? The uh, guys, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to just run around real quick, so give me a second, I'll be back on. I just wanted to make sure you guys got back into it. I'll be right back.
are we doing over here? All right. So Fong won the first game. This is a race to 11. I'm going to go over everything quickly again just for the beginning of this match. This is the Sam Lin Chow. This is the fifth annual. It is a race to 11. Single elimination. A thousand dollar entry fee. So there's all kinds of pressure in this game. There's end up being, last year we end up having a full field of 64. This year, it looks like we were going to again. But in the last couple of days, a few people, a few people didn't show up, and so we ended up with 40. There's quite a few people. And um, so we still got 40 players. Got Constantine, a local player playing. Fong Win. I'm glad everybody's starting to get back in here again. Sorry, guys, for the, the internet glitch we had earlier. Got a great matchup here. This is a really good matchup. These guys can both have a good chance of winning this tournament. Looks like. Wong is on the corner pocket. One where I'll click for maybe two. Let's see what he is back. I'm definitely going one around myself. That way you don't have to shoot over the nine ball. over the ball. You can definitely put added English on the ball. This doesn't give you a good line. And so, I'll spend that ball in hand with the one ball. Shooting the two ball in the same pocket. Coming out to the three ball. This is Constantine Alexander. He does, he's one of the owners of table 34. Uh, he played in the, the qualifier. He was on Tuesday night. Uh, and he told me kind of breaking news that they've, they're opening up a second table 34 in the south north part of town. Beautiful area over there, summer. And he also has another Italian restaurant, or his first Italian restaurant. He's rolling. He's never been to Table 34. Food is excellent, but he is top of the line. He's got a great chef there. His chef used to play a little bit of pool. I don't know if he's playing much anymore, but he seems like uh, he is Busy getting it done. A nice shot by Thompson. He just held that ball up, shooting the four ball next. Uh, just going to pull it back a little bit around the seven ball and shoot the five ball to the corner, right bottom corner, pocket. That is the six ball down there with the five. Let's see, he's putting bottom on it, so I'm assuming that the six goes to the same pocket. Oh, no. It must not have. So try to pull it back out. He does have a shot here. It's long now, but it's okay. It's still very nifty. 
is any to make the ball for sure. Great shot, just, just get loose in that one position, make the position a little bit, just have to fight it back. You can get there right now. This is has got here now to make sure the seven to the side pocket is not hitting the 10 ball. That was the biggest issue he had. Cutting the eight, I'm pretty sure he's going to eight ball to the corner pocket, nine ball, same pocket. Did we go two rails back and forth? Did we try to. You know what? I'm going to get a roll. Got a nice roll. Has a little angle here, so just to the top left and let it just make the fall and come back down the table. He is it should tap the nine ball and give him a perfect shot. Yeah, that worked out perfect for him. Me, I'm going top right on this ball and two that rails down for the ten ball. Some people would pull it down. I like the top shot, top English shot, a little bit of top right, you just roll it around nice and smooth, should be perfect, he's going to pull it, I don't like that shot, it plays the side pockets in play, alright, that's that perfect just good position to make this 10 ball and go 1-1. One, one. Okay. Has to choose your lead. How you doing, guys? Dean, yeah, he's doing well so far. He's up to zero. Might have heard you. Let's fucking go. Oh, I mean, it's the whole LFT, LFT, excuse me. So you look a little nervous, but you know you start getting games good for you. you. You end up relax a little bit and then uh, open it up your stroke. See what happens here. It is a race for eleven, so. Break looks real good. Broke drive. Oh, team has a shot at the one ball. Good chance of the safety here. You've got options here, but I mean the safety pretty much is the shot. So you just kind of check the ball up, maybe even run it towards the two ball and stop behind the seven with the one ball going down there. Down you don't need a lot of speed on this one ball because three, seven, eight block almost anything. Yep, keep it simple. Uh, he left the shot. Right. He looks like he has a shot between the two. Uh, Seven, eight ball. Put your panties on. Here we go. Constantine played to kept it simple. Use the one ball to stop. Use the three ball to stop the one ball. Played it safe on the other side of the six. He will. He's got options. He can kick. He can kick it to the right side of the three ball with left English. Looks like that's what he's going to do. 
Good hit. Right. Constantine has a combination here, the one two. Uh, this is a pocket top, top table. So you might not want to do it, but he might not have a lot of options here. I mean he could not do it or he can get a little aggressive here. We'll see. So he, yeah, we should, should be okay. As long as it doesn't get the one not ten combination. Uh, it should be it should be okay. It's a long he's a tight pocket table. These guys are just good B players. And actually close. So so he's in the he out, played safe. I'm trying to see the table. Can you scoot to the, over to the left some? Or out, even down this whole area? Thank you. Once again, we got a good German sportsmanship here. I might have moved the ball and just both Constantine and Constantine just needs to believe they're not going to worry about it. Excuse me, when you get a chance to kind of get out of the player's area, it kind of makes it crowded for them. Thank you. I had people that want to just walk down into the player's area. To me, personally, it's crowded, so I just kind of move them out of there and make it easy on the guys. It's very important that you have room to, to get comfortable in your match. That was a nice shot by him. Um, got a thin cut on the seven ball, but if he may he can make this ball and roll to one rail and two rails to eight ball on the side, or he can just pull the ball a little bit and shoot it to the Alright, so he's just about to having to come out one rail to eight ball to the corner. Which they were aiming for. Um, Hey, Marcus.
I don't know. I don't care. Whatever. It's only gonna be a two day tournament. Okay, guys, sorry I'm back. I just wanted to make sure we had all the, the money was right and everything. So on Digital Pool, the, the money, the tournament money is on there. The, the, the side pots in the Calcutta is not, but the turn money is on there. Um, so first place will be $16,000 just in tournament money. That does not include the side pots of Calcutta. So if you go on Digital Pool, Thank you. 
Fong is up 3 0, guys. Hunter seems having just a little man. He plays better than this. He's just having a little issue on these tight pockets. Got him time again and again. So hopefully uh, he can settle in and play. He is one of the locals. I'd like to see him do. Honestly, I'd like to see him win the tournament. I, I have to say I love my local players winning. Makes all the difference in the world to me. I'm still here. I'm just he throws himself right up on that ten ball. That is a tough shot right there. What a shot. I'm sorry. Yeah, what are you even watching? I'm going to tell you what happened. I, 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 I can't see it. I mean, he's back there. He just takes straight up and down. And I think he, you know. And just popped it and made, made it? Yeah, popped it and made it. Woo. That is a great shot. I couldn't see it because you are in the way. So you can't even see it on the camera. <laughs> has a 4-0 lead in the tournament. Made a few errors to let him get a nice, comfortable 40 or zero lead. These are the tighter pocket tables, so you have to bring your stroke in this matchup.
I'm down 15. Oh, I ate this. Sorry guys, I don't know if you could hear all that conversation, I had to run out to my truck for a minute, my phone's trying to die on me, and uh, so, I'm about to take my head off. All right, so uh, that ball is even going to roll in. Well, you look busy. Thank you. Good job. Tried to make the ball, end up uh, even taking a little tough shot here. And I tell you what, anybody ever tells you streaming's easy, they're wrong. <laughs> Not a difficult thing to learn, but man, to just keep up with all the stuff like the internet going down earlier, the That and help when you run late. Yeah, that was a nice safety right there. Put him on the end rail. So he has options here. He can go through the left side of the 10 ball, right side of the 10 ball, or go two rails into it. I personally think I'm going two rails into it. I have to select the shot better, especially coming off the end rail. So it looks like he's gonna go to Yeah, I like the I like the All right, Charlie. Charlie, one of the local one pocket players. That ball in hand with this piece of minor cleanup here. Yeah, so I'll be right back. I'm, I got run back into the storage unit real quick. Right there.
basically the same thing though. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn oh, the camera. So I wanted to, yeah, it, it basically is a motorcycle mount though. Yeah, yeah so I'm just gonna set it up for a little bit of a different view. I didn't, I didn't get the opp great opportunity this morning because I, uh, I overslept a tournament I didn't think started till tomorrow. <laughs> they called me and said, Eric, where are you? It's, uh, it's quarter till 11, tournament starts at 11 o'clock. Oh, shit, today? Yes, oh, shit. It's funny, I was up at probably about like 7 or 8. You're late time, are you? Huh? You're late time, are you broke at oh, We're on, we're live. I don't care, I don't oh, mind yeah. talking about it. It was my bad. And, uh, so I got here about, probably about... Uh, you got yeah, I got here probably five after. And then they played one game. I didn't miss one game. And then it took me... I've got it such a nice setup over here. It took me five minutes, I think, at the max to set it up, have it rolling. And then it was just a matter of putting everything together. It's a tough tournament right here, seriously. A one and done, man. It's, I know. It's, yeah. It looks like it's going to be over tomorrow, though. At least it's not going to. It's not going to be a three-day tournament. Right. Yeah, I just found out he said he's going to run to the final eight today, and then finish it tomorrow. First place is sixteen grand. Not bad no, for no. a forty-man tournament. No, real good. Yeah, and then and that doesn't include side pots right. or anything else. That's just a tournament. You figure it's gonna be somewhere in the thirty thousand dollar range for first place. Yeah, pretty, pretty close to it. Do it easy, and you're making uh, sixty grand a year two, for two weekends of playing pool. <laughs> and now they're all over the country. So, he's Constantine. He's a little frustrated right now. Uh, Funny, that's what I say about the dock. We have a local beach on here, the Dock Hill. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I play in it every year. I've been playing in it every year. I, well, I started, I started playing it in the early 2000s and then took 10 years off and then uh, started playing it again. And every year I was like, I'm glad I don't have to play. I don't, I'm not going to play this thing next year. And then, of course, I get together and play in it. And it's like, I'm not going to play. Yeah, there was there was uh they were talking about somebody trying to talking about asking about making the double elimination I mean, and it's a lot of money involved. I could see how somebody would want to do that over single elimination, one and done makes it really rough. And and I tell you in in the, in the main reason why I say that is because I'm probably the worst at first matches. First matches, it's hard for me to get going sometimes. To be honest about it. Yeah, that was honestly that was me. I, I didn't get going until like third, fourth game, uh, and then I was, I was down three one. And now you're battling. And I was battling. I, I, I did it right to come back and make it close, but you know, Chris was just better than me. What's that? I said Chris. He was just better oh, than me. Oh, oh, Chris is who you can get me with. So. When I saw the Calcutta and I saw his Chris Carpenter, right? So I saw the Calcutta, I was like, man, I, that's who the fuck I want to own. <laughs> For the money, man, he is a very good player. For the money, especially with that kind of Fargo, I, I honestly, I would have loved to own him in the Calcutta. I ended up not doing it, but I, I what did he, you know what he went for in the Calcutta? Yeah, I bought him uh, two fifty. That two fifty, and you own him? Oh, then you're still in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it ended up being 300 What Do you know what the top money was? Uh, what do you mean? Total? total. For, who was the highest person? Uh, I think it was either him or there was another uh, 580 or something. Okay. See you, my friend. You all working all weekend? I'll be working all weekend. 
or tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day. Yeah, it was it was supposed to be, yeah, no, they're gonna get down to eight players today and finish it up tomorrow. Yeah. Fantastic. That doesn't make sense. That's no. No. See you later. One of my one of my buddies, Eric, here in town. We call him Corvette Eric. He drives a Corvette, a nice Corvette. Yeah. Uh, oh, Chris Brown went for three fifty. Sorry. And you bought him? Yeah. With his first place in the Calcutta pay. Right now it's about two grand. Okay. And I'm assuming you guys are splitting. Yeah. Was he, did he end up being the highest one? I'm looking now, yeah, it looks that way. I, I thought he was favorite. Yeah. I mean, he played, he's just so solid under pressure. There is no pressure to with him. Yeah, no, he's, this, just, he's played pool so many years now. Yeah, Actually, no. yeah, he's uh, That's yeah. what it is. You, I, like, I've played, I, I'm, I've played pool for so many years now. I don't, I listen, I, do I feel pressure? I actually prefer it, because I think I played better under pressure. Yeah, it's okay. I, or, with the with the adrenaline yeah. rush or whatever. Right. Yeah, after I calm down, I, I let I let it get to me the first two games. Yes. And like I said, I gave him a run for his money. You didn't go out without a fight. Eleven nine. Eleven yeah, eleven nine's what ended up at? Yeah. Oh shit, dude. You pretty much just hold serve after you freaking went down two zero. Uh three zero. Huh? Fong oh, has been given opportunities and he's just taking advantage of it every time he gets them. Makes it tough for me to find a, get some motivation here and see. I mean, I'm shooting this ball. I'm, there's no way I'm not going for this. I don't care. Oh, it's been to 5-0 lead. Yes, it's something to say. It's supposed to be enough 5-0. You got nothing to lose. I look, I, I'm, I'm assuming he's shooting this ball and you're left-handed and he's right-handed. So it's kind of looking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which is, it's not, a, it's not that horrible of a shot. No, he, he, he got away with it. Yeah. I mean, that ball's still makeable, though. This is I definitely, still, this is a good game for me. But it's not going to get back in. But it's not a hurry. No. No, this ball's good. Yeah. Those balls are so easy to for that to happen right there. Yeah, especially the long distance knife for table. <laughs> you know, they, they, they serve shots at the That was the first to hear I'm one and out for your. I always put a chip. This is next level. It's a nice little sir, so I gotta say. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, when you came in, I tried to say something to you. Oh, no. I saw it as soon as it started coming around. I'm like, oh no, he's gonna fuck himself. He's thinking safe, but I'm, he's gonna go safe and just roll it to the end route. Yeah. But man, if he's at 5 0, he might as well just fire. It's not over yet, sir. Sorry, it is not over yet, sir. You are one of the fire in the you've got more fire in your fucking heart than anybody. Why is that? He just thinks they're too tight. Yeah. Yeah. 
dude. That's being honest. That's all that is. Not a compliment. Back. Let's go. Yeah, there you go. All right, guys. So we got a little player break. That's the team's feeling it. Um, he felt like he needed a little break. So, so just be one moment. Him.
Guys, sorry, it's six zero. Got good. Ernie and Tanini coming in here to talk to me. Sir, how are you today? Going great. Just go hold this in the finger. Don't put the yeah, just hold it. Yeah, just get off for it. No, just got off plane. Oh, I was here last night trying to match up. Uh, played a little one pocket, won a little bit. How's Constantine doing? Inner battle, inner inner battle. Himself is down six zero. I to find a game right here. I've been playing okay. A little, a little frustrated in the last couple. Yeah, I worked out with him last week. I played him some uh, nine ball to help him get in stroke for this. Been doing the commentary from back here. Oh, so they don't hear? So they don't hear? <laughs> they can't, no one can grab stand on it. I guess what happened was, I mean, I just, it, so I thought the tournament was Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Yeah. And they called me at 15 minutes to 11 when the tournament starts. Where are you? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, I was surprised you weren't uh, set up last night like you normally I would. I normally have. wouldn't be set up. Back. I had every attention to coming down here and set up today. I had all these extra cameras to get. Get like the straight down view and everything's set up in my mind. I want to do it. Yeah, it will be set up for tomorrow. Good. Okay. Uh, the final eight. We had so this could be a two day tournament actually. So they're gonna we have 40 players. 16, 40 ended up coming. Good. Yeah, 16 grand for first place without the side pots or Calcutta. Um, a lot of strong 580s in here. There's a lot of strong 580s <laughs> in here, so I'm gonna say. Well, so I would buy any zero. of them one pocket, though. There's, there's, <laughs> there's, there's plenty of, there's actually a couple, one guy out of Florida that's in here that's a big money guy down in Florida that's played somebody yesterday one pocket and uh, it was a race to four for a thousand. He won the thousand and the guy said, look, I can't beat you in one pocket, but I'll flip you for that thousand. <laughs> so they flipped the coin, he won, he won two grand. Wow. <laughs> so he beat the guy four zero one pocket, then flipped the coin and won two grand. So he said, you know what, I'm going to stay for a few more days. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I saw a $4,000 match last night also, a kid from Arizona, I think. I yeah, think oh, that's the one I'm talking right about. And, and who did he play? Do you know who he's playing? Uh, he played uh, the kid in the blue shirt over there. Oh, here. he did? Who won? Uh, this young gentleman. And oh, really? And playing the second set, and he let him out uh, for an unknown song. But oh, so, so he beat uh, him out of, uh, he beat, uh, uh, how much? I don't think that was him because I don't think he's a 580. Yeah. Uh, but he looks like he had a brown shirt on. So, but he was playing the guy in the blue one pocket last night. One like. Oh, you don't think this is the guy? He was another guy. Yeah. He's from Arizona. Okay. The uh, and of course Mitch is hanging around here a little bit today with all his Arizona buddies. Yeah, I was hanging out with him a little bit last <laughs> night. I missed playing him. Uh, if you ever want to get in stroke <laughs> you, and step up your game, you better play you, Mitch because you, you might not get a shot. So you're really either you're shooting hard. or you're not shooting. <laughs> it's either, either you learn and get you play well or you That's do it. not play. Or you won't win, period. That's Simple it. as that. And one of the nicest guys. Oh, that's the man. Yo, without a doubt. Yeah. He just had his birthday not too long ago. And, uh, but he, yeah, he is one of us. He used to be, he used to live here in Las Vegas too, but he is from Arizona. He lives in Arizona now. Yeah, in fact, he told me he's going back to dealing, so good luck to him. Oh, he is? Yeah. It, 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 there's money to be made in dealing. Like, them guys are bring home five, six hundred bucks a day. Yeah. I love poker myself. That's the only other thing I, my other, other big limitations is poker. Like, when I'm gambling, I'm usually playing poker. Yeah. Because if I'm playing money on the pool table, it's for one or two reasons. Because it's not gambling. <laughs> An easy game. That reminds me of that, that kid that 
played the set last night that beat him. I asked him to play some, and he goes, man, I've been up for 36 hours. I said, well, that's why I'm asking you. I mean, what do you think I want you fresh? <laughs> so I'm assuming he said no? He said no. <laughs> or oh, the other reason why is this, because I, I like playing better players. So I played cheap and, and learned something, man. I learned from playing. That's how I learned. I mean, I hate to say it, but the, for me, the, I, not, I get on table and practice. Don't get me wrong, but the best way for me to really learn something is play better players. Of course. And watch how they're moving, especially in one pocket. Watch the movement and all that. It's so important. That's the one difference I found between Philly and here is there's 20 games of one pocket you can play with, you know, from 10 to 100, you know, and it – you're playing 10, 20, 30, they don't ask for weight. Out here, they want to play 20 a game, and they want you weight. to give you, you know, 10, 7. And sure, dude, I'm playing a five hours a game, and I want God's weight. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I play Ronnie Wiseman, Mitch, Mark. I played them all even. Just I can't win, but, you know, I don't ask for anything. How are you ever going to get any better? I don't know, though. You beat, you beat Ronnie in the uh, qualifier for the U.S. Open uh, one pocket. Uh, well, <laughs> he had me, too. Uh, I had you did. You guys did make a, a little bit of click, a little bit of money that week, though. I think as partners. Yeah, we played somebody who ended up playing us even. He shot in between us, and uh, I think me and Ronnie could both. Well, Ronnie could definitely kill him even, and I could beat him even in my pocket. And he just likes to play. So. I like players like that. So, uh, you just down here looking for some action again today? Oh, it, oh. Um, passing time. Uh, one of my employees, uh, it's her last day today, so we're all going to go to dinner tonight around 8.30. So the wife's sleeping. Is she working and, right now? No, I gave her the half a day off. And, and then, uh, then get together and yeah, get there. tonight. All right. The rest of my employees. Is and, she moving or just... Yeah, uh, moving, take care of her grandma in Chicago. Okay. You know what? It happens a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, you guys take care of your, your, your older members of your family. Boston team needs to get a win. It's seven zero race to eleven. He, he's got to get that first game. He's down seven zero. Wow! Yes. I saw him when I walked in and hang up that ball. You know these these tables having that deep shell. Yes. And if you roll it and you just hit part of that shell going or in. a little piece of dirt, it's it's going to stay up. Man, you really got to. The I saw more people barely nick the the point going into the pocket and it just sits there yeah. it just hangs and that that way it just hangs right in the pocket it doesn't even it's like nothing difficult at that point yeah. you know they complain the pockets are tight but it's, it's just the deep shelves it's the way they have it and it's the you know keeping them clean so it's any little piece well, of dirt it's funny just hanging i have there. to say even when shane played tony down here in one pocket for i don't know it was like a hundred thousand dollars he requested uh four and a half inch pockets um, and and he didn't want to play on four and a quarter pockets, that which, which probably would have been I don't want to say, it, but it might have been a little bit of advantage to Tony if they did. Yeah. Well, I'd rather play a good good player on tighter pockets because I can slow roll the balls to the hole. Where if he's a fire and a shooter, if he hangs them up or you know it jars and gets out. Sure. You know if you play a real good player on an easy table, it's uh, like great. So I'd rather take the worst of it to play him on a. So that's that's my belief too. It's like if I'm in a tournament, somebody says, "Well, we're going to put you on the small pocket table against somebody that's plays." I don't know, the other way I can describe it is with Fargo, and I hate to do it, but if they play 150 points above me in Fargo or something, so there's a distinct advantage in 150 points. I'd rather play them on a tight pocket table and hopefully get them into an ugly, the ugliest game I can get them into, to where maybe they will miss a ball they normally wouldn't miss, and give me an opportunity that I normally wouldn't get. I'm, I'm, I'm used to playing ugly pool. It's not like I play pool. I play ugly pool, man. It's like it's home for me. I call myself a briar rabbit because the uglier it is, you know, it's a, <laughs> give me a tackle game. I'm not going to bitch. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to yeah. make it as ugly, even uglier if I can. I think we all played ugly pool one time or another. <laughs> I, I played some last week. Some ugly pool? I did. <laughs> Man, it's, the problem is I do it every time. <laughs> so I'm used to it. That's what I said. I'm used to this shit. Like, yeah. They'll be bitching and motor like, hey, I'm right at home on this. This is my normal game. Constantine needs to get this win. You know, just get something, get some motivation. Yeah.
momentum going here in the uh, East, but he has not. He has been really. Um, and it's funny, this is the table me and him practiced on last week. Well, he, so he played in a qualifier on Tuesday on this same table, and he didn't play well on that neither. So it's kind of, I almost went over to two, to um, Brandon and Marcus, like put him, put him on any table but this one. I mean, I was, but I got, like I said, I was running late, so I didn't get to do my normal shit because uh, it's got a mentally, it's got a, he's got a block on this table for sure, and it happens. You know, it's like hard to get through that. You know, is this a one and done tournament, or is this is a one, one and done, done. race to eleven, one and done, thousand yeah. dollars entry, one and done. Yes, and trust. So, so when when I see players I know walking by, I don't even ask them how well you're doing because. <laughs> That's a, that's a grand god yeah. goodbye well you know we all know and love sean yes <laughs> he, he was here last night late and uh like he always is one drinking. yeah i beat him in like 10 minutes and i said listen go home you spend a thousand dollars for the tournament go home and relax come back i want you to play good and he's, even after i stopped playing him he wanted to stay and play and i'm like wow he is a man he, he likes it once he's down here man it's hard to get him off the table I know. and then he'll start drinking and that's it baby he ain't going nowhere i know and he played first match on 13. i don't know if he won or not but he definitely played the first match on 13. and i haven't seen him since so well if, if i had to play with a little bit of alcohol in me yes i would like to play like him sometimes <laughs> you don't do too bad no you made one mistake in that statement. Yeah, what's that? With him, it's never a little. No, I don't. <laughs> it's never a little. We played a, a, a race in three, four hundred, and I beat him in uh, 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling you something. When, when you get up, when, you, when somebody gives you a lot of games, which is what happened earlier. Yeah. You just settle in, and, and then the key is just don't make, try to make fewer mistakes. Yeah. You know, it's just like, try to be that person that makes the fewer mistakes. Mm -hmm. This shot, right? You, just, you, know, you should just keep it clean a little bit inside of it. And you bet, and yeah, so you, and when you do that, you're taking your eye off the ball because you're watching the cue ball go around. Position. And that's exactly what it did. Yeah. Yeah. He got perfect position. Oh, no, he didn't. He didn't get perfect position. Yeah. This, is a game, this is a game right here. across the team is supposed to win that's i'd like this i really honestly I, and i and he might be the last las vegas player in it there might be a couple other guys yeah you know if he wins this and maybe one or two maybe he gets on the roll the other guy starts uh missing. could have easily switched There's, i was watching a little bit of the u.s what? open this morning and uh LP was playing uh filler and yeah uh, you know, Kopi was up 3 nothing. Filler came back 5-5 five, five all of a sudden. Kopi just ran away with just little mistakes that you don't expect to be Filler, filler? To make. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, 10-5, I think. So. Uh, he fought all the way back to make it 5-5. Five, five, yeah. And then and did ten, something five. silly happen, and all of a sudden he's like, no, I'm yeah, finishing. Lost the momentum. I think there's, there's, to me, there's two tough things to do in a tournament. One is to get started and get ahead. And the other is once you're ahead and started, finish. Yeah. Like I, I, coming back is not as hard, in my opinion, because you can get some momentum going, and then the person that's on that's ahead of you, which is supposed to win the match, all of a sudden all the pressure's on them. When you just you go in like two or three games in a row, the pressure switches like hard, and it's not a little bit because at that point you're free will, and you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm supposed to lose now. I can just go for it. Yeah. Closing closing out somebody tough and then coming from behind. Yeah, especially if it's winter break format. Is that what this is also? This is winter break format. Uh, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, make a run. Make a run yeah. Hell yeah. You know, 10 ball is a little more difficult than 9 ball. I don't really play 10 ball. I'd rather play 9 ball because I stink. <laughs> a rotation? Well, just can't run them like I used to when you yeah. turn 60. Oh, you you lose a little bit. Minute. How old are you? 60. Oh man, I thought you was a puppy. I am a puppy. Man. <laughs> Wait a minute. What the hell is that me? How'd you guys do in late Monday? We lost by one point. And you know what? I'm it, I'm owning it. Because I had a uh, the guy broke dry. 
and I had a really tough out, but I got there. And all I had to do was get a certain position, and it was, and it should have been just a clean, smooth stroke. And I did. I hit it clean and smooth, but too clean and smooth, and the ball rolled up, and, and I played safe on myself. And I kicked. I got a hit, but then the, the then they ran out on me, so it wasn't. It was, it was completely my fault. It was, and I've been putting them well lately. I just. Yeah. Now, you know, the it's format neat. when you play a one and done or a race to yeah, one, sure. eight ball is definitely the way to go instead of nine ball. Uh, you have yes. more chances, I believe, playing in the chip tournament last night. On a bar you know, box. One and done, you yes. know, moving, it's, it's tough. Yes. It, it's tough. Did you play in the tournament last night? I did. Because I was bored. <laughs> so I'm assuming you're going four? Uh, five chips. Oh, you get five chips? Yeah, you guys don't win. Five ninety nine. I know. Oh, they, they moved you up to five ninety nine. I am. I think when I won the tournament, Oh, uh, the survivor at the, the last thing. Sure. At, and when I beat you. Oh, that, yeah, that really? Was, that moved you up? Because I haven't played it since then. And they moved me up 10 points. So. Yeah. You definitely, you definitely got to think about getting into one of these 600 and under tournaments for big money. Yeah. I don't know when they're coming off, but I'll definitely take a look at it. The, uh. Oh my God! He hung up another one. Yeah, and it, it, it's not even. It, it wasn't even. It was just. I think he was just so maybe too relaxed on it instead of making sure it's center. You know that focus of just making sure he's center pocket. Yeah. Like he's just he's looking for a reason he's to just finish it. Pool can be very brutal. It really can be. Uh, well. Definitely can be when you're playing winter break. You're playing winter break rotation. And not hitting, the, and not hitting your, but you know, not getting at that early start where you can relax and fall, especially single elimination. Oh my God. You know, that's one of the benefits of playing one pocket is that, you know, you could be down two nothing and a race with three, down four balls for nothing and fight back, right? But right. Even easier. You, because you get out move the guy, you could get back in the this. It's, it's tough. You're playing a good shooter. You're done. Oh, look at that. And listen, and listen, that's not the first time he's done that. He's not, Spong is not playing his best pool. There's constantly he hadn't settled in yet. Yeah. That's good. Got seven, eight, eight you seven, know, eight, 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 and, oh, and here's the thing, even worse than that, this is, I said something to me about that the other day. None of that, but now he's starting the second yeah, table of 34. Yeah. yeah, so over in, over in, and then as well as an Italian restaurant. So, yeah. he's, so he's got his restaurant that's going, going, and two new ones that he's starting up at the same time. Yeah. He's got a lot on his brain. Yeah, I know. It's, it's you know, that's what's what, so hard about this town is like, I, I run my store Monday through Thursday night, okay. 8 to 7, okay. and then Friday sometimes I open up till 11, and I take off the weekend, and when I come in, I want to gamble, but I haven't played all yes. week, <laughs> so I'm always starting off on the losing end. Um, um, honestly, I think that he can come back and win this if he just settles in. Definitely. It's not on? No, it's not. Let's make it sure. If they gave batteries died on the earlier. Yours has got a full battery, so your mine's gonna die before yours does. Uh, did he just hang up? Man, it's, and it's it, he's had he's had some opportunities. It's just he's just man. I'm telling you, a lot of it is is how much time he's putting in on all his yeah. restaurants. They're working on three of them now. It's not like he's working on one. He's working yeah. on three. He even mentioned to me he might be interested in and open up a pool room. No, he said something to me about that also. That's good. You could, they could, you could definitely put a nice place like this up on the north, like way north, yeah. and do well because there's nothing up there, nothing. You have to come all the way over here, and there, there's absolutely nothing there. Eight zero, eight one, excuse me, eight one. So, question? Yes. 
I haven't. I don't think I've asked you this yet. Do you use any kind of aiming system, or have you ever used an aiming system to, to when you were first learning to kind of get your eyeballs on? Not when I was first learning, but when I had a house in Philly, I had a, a big room that I put a pool table in, and I did bring in some top bankers to teach me some of their systems. Yes. Um, is it is it is it like fractional aiming? Yeah. Okay. I think I love fractional aiming. Yeah. It is. I was taught that by a, a, an upper level player and it made all the difference in the world. And the funny thing is somebody tried to tell me about, somebody told me, the guy that taught me how to shoot pool told me about it in the 80s. And but everything he told me, he says, you know, there's a way that you can just hit a part of the ball and it's going to go into some pocket. You just got to understand which pocket it's going in. <clears throat> and that's all he told me. He well, didn't tell me any more than that. I was hanging out with little Mikey uh, last oh, yeah. week down at the Duke Club and he's trying a new aiming system too. He's making sure his, you know, his, his left foot is pointing to the pocket he's shooting in and taking his time and he seems to be running balls pretty good and, and playing pretty good with it. You know, C.J. Wiley has a good system. There's a lot of which, them out which there. Which C.J. Wiley is just kind of the system I use. Yeah. He goes every eighth ball. Which, that's like that's like perfect aiming mean, right there. If you can get every eight ball and fractional aiming, that is not. I call I call that fractional aiming. Maybe I don't know if I. Can. No. <clears throat> I definitely recommend that for everybody. I personally don't like center edge aiming. How they do it, when you have to shift and no, all that CT, bullshit. No. Oh, it's just no. bullshit. I went I online see and people get down and then move. Yeah, the like, yeah. How the fuck do you do that? <laughs> okay. You're not you're not seeing the shot for sure. It's all about seeing this ship. Man, it's like a lot of work just to shoot a ball and so. And some players just do it by feel. You know, they've oh, been playing, right. it's muscle so and long. They just do it and, That's why I ask, is like so you get to a point where I, I think with the fractional aim, it gets, it, it gets your eyes seeing the ball, the angles and stuff better, and then you can go into a natural, you just see it, get out and play. It becomes nat more natural. Well, one of my problems is I'm switching between my wood shafts for my last oh, you're not. 40 years to a maple carbon shaft. fiber, and then going back to uh, maple, and going back to carbon fiber, and trying to, <laughs> so I went back to my wood. So, the, so I did that. So when the 10 years that I quit playing pool, it went from you bought your stick because of what shaft came with it and how much deflection it had. Yeah. So I was like a Josh user. I yeah. used a lot of those types of kids, Sean, Sean, and stayed away from you shoes because they were they were as much deflection. You got way too much on that thing. That was like a fucking bit of banana. Yeah, but 30 years ago, we really didn't know Mewtwo was the one to get it. Who cared about deflection? It was a nice look. You like this is stick when it goes waffles like that. Yes. And then um, two, but when I came back after 10 years, it was low deflection shafts and yeah. layered tips. I, I, I used to love pro my whole life. I never, yeah. I, I, I can't stand a soft tip. I've yeah. always used to pro. And came back and it was like all these options and I'm down at a Q club. And then managing help for a while. And uh, so I was there, I was able to get tips for at discounted prices, like 40% off. So I'm buying all these layered tips to see which one I like best. And I, I didn't like any of them. Still, you always go back to the pro because it just it, it just had to hit. But finally, I found myself a, a tip that I like. And it's the, the Mori's, the coated Mori's nowadays. Yeah. I love them, dude. Well, the original Mori was great. Yes, the original Mori. Yeah, yeah, it was probably the best one out on the market. So and, I play with one of the co-brothers tips now. Frankie you, Tran re recommended it. Really? And I'll uh, put it on. You like I the like feel? It. Yeah. I so, so is that with your, on, you know, either whether it's maple or whether it's a low deflection shaft, is it? No, I have it on my carbon fiber. My other tips I have uh, on there, uh, I tried two different tips for the two other shafts. One was a sniper and one was something else. The, uh, uh, do, do, you, do you think about the hardness of it? depending on whether it's carbon fiber or maple. Like for me, I always thought harder on maple because it kind of does cut down on the deflection or softer on the yeah. the carbon or low deflection because it gives you a little more bite. Yeah, I like to hear the noise too. I like to hear the hit. You do. Before I didn't like to hear the soft, but now I, I like to hear the hit. 
of it. So yeah. medium or hard, but mostly okay. medium. I, 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 like I, I, I like the uh, actual one using is a Mori medium hard. That's exactly what I'm hitting with. Looks like Constantine. He played a good save. He, I saw him kick and save ran the out. ball. And, uh, and got right. shot right now. I think he still did. What he could do with eight to eight, two. Eight two. I think he. I think he. And I'm, the one thing I give Constantine out of, out of a lot of guys is he's got more heart than a lot of these guys do. Yeah. He 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 don't he plays hard for the end. Sometimes it takes him a moment to get that momentum going, but he does play hard. Fong keeps playing like he is. I'm telling you, Dustin has a chance to come back on him. Yeah. He's going to have to step up his game with him again. Looks like if he hits this, he gets an actual shape on his feet. That is just like he did. Yeah. Perfect. And he can, he's got even a little bit of angle where he can come off. One rail. I think he, I think it has a back angle where he come off and go into that three ball maybe get a shot. Yeah. Hard to see from here. Three might even go off the six. Oh, the stand up. No. So he's definitely got a little bit of angle going back towards the three. Oh, yeah. I appreciate it. After running that rack out, if he can break and run this rack, ooh, buddy. I don't care. Eight three. I don't, you, you, you have to put your panties on for this one. <laughs> so I've been here six years now. And, in Las uh, Vegas? In Las Vegas, from Philly. And Constantine was one of the first people I met. Really? Same thing, nice guy. Nice guy. Listen, and, and, and talking about somebody that actually gives to the whole community. So some ball might go. He definitely played that not to hit the three. Yeah, it might be wired. No, nope, that's the safe. Okay. All right. Table control, put the two ball in there. Yeah. So you came in town about, about the time, you say, how many years now? Uh, five? Six. Going mm -hmm. on six. Yeah. About the time I started playing pool again. And First person I ever played was J.R.B. <laughs> Are you serious? And I didn't even know <laughs> of anything about him. Nothing. I was playing him, giving him 9 7, 100 a game or something. I beat him like nine games. And it says nobody's ever given me nine games. And then after that, <laughs> I, I didn't know that who he was. <laughs> so he never played, played you again. <laughs> But, I'm uh, so, that, that was when he was definitely playing a lot. Too. I didn't have anybody to steer me around, you know. So yeah. I just found out. That was... All right. Good jump shot. He got a little lucky on the safe there. Yeah, just you? getting a good hit, and then things happen. That's, yeah. my, that was the old That was the guy. The guy taught me how to pull and says, look, when you got a fucking kick, just make sure you get the hit, because then good shit can happen. Some, a lot of times it might not. Yeah. But a lot of times, just like that, right there, you could have easily scratched the side. No, yeah. you end up sticking them tight. Looks like there's no problems with the balls if it gets ball in hand here. So five looks yeah. like you go past the ten, and uh, might be, might be the hardest thing is coming from the five to the six, yeah. and that's just if you can just right angle to pull it back. Yeah. So are we using all these three tables here for the tournament? Not table one. Just these two. Taking long rail. And no hit. And where is this player from? Fun? I don't know. Maybe I, 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 I'm going to bet California. California. Hey, Fun. Where are you from? I'm from California. What part? Stockton. Stockton, California. Okay. <clears throat> Anytime there's a tournament, I know the Arizonians and the Californians come over here. Yeah, we got, and we got some from Florida. Yeah. Florida, Texas. And for these thousand dollar entry fees, they come in, baby. They roll in. Yeah. It's, it's usually 64 players. We only got 40 this year. You had 64 lined up, and, and then. Uh, 
24 backed out last minute. 24 players backed out on it. Wow. That would have been a three-day tournament, maybe. <laughs> we would have taken three. That's, that's the reason why we gave it three days. Yeah. Oh, get over there. Get over there. Yeah, he's good. Well, oh, no, there's seven balls in the way. Yeah. Okay. So he's been playing safe on not shooting his combo. Let's see what he does here. He's all the key ball down on this. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, he's, been, there. he's been playing. He's been playing. Yeah, he didn't try to go for those crazy combos. That's what I'm saying. He's really. He just missed a couple balls early. He didn't miss those balls early. He's completely turned around. So Calcutta was online last night, huh? It's been on for the last four days. Four days. Oh, yeah. The. Um, and usually Constantine runs this, but I don't think he ran this one. I think somebody else did. Wanted to focus on the phone. Okay. Yeah. What? Uh, it looks like he either try to go for this or play the safe, push the ball up on the eight. Yeah. The way he's playing, I'm, I'm playing, I'm betting on the safe. You really want that ball jammed up there if he's a big yeah. jumper. Or not, yeah. But... Jump or kick. He's jumping. Jam them up, they can't jump like that. So there's been there's been action on table one this whole time. Like I don't know what it is. Maybe he's not right now, maybe he's just over hitting ball. I asked him to play last night. He didn't want to go okay. He won his first match today. Eleven two. Go, baby. Go on, baby. Roll, roll, roll. Um, yes, am I yelling for the Las Vegas guys? Yes, I am. Of course. <laughs> I'd like to see somebody from Las Vegas win it. The, uh, That's one of the reasons why, if I bet any decent sized money, I don't like to play anybody from out of town. It's hard to get it back. If yes. Right. Well, we I used to, the latest had the $500 entry fee, uh, 525 and under. And the guy comes out of Louisiana, and uh, oh, he, he 515 Fargo, 500, maybe 600, um, robust, and uh, and wins it easily. And so, uh, you know who Greg Cool is? Yeah. So Greg Cool used to be a manager of uh, Chew Club for like 20 years, and. <clears throat> He's in New Orleans now, just outside of New Orleans. And we, and we came back to town for a few months, and he was on the pool team. He was on our pool team uh, prior to his, to his last couple of sessions. And so he comes back to town, and we're talking. He says, Yerk, there's just, just, just one guy I can't fucking beat down there. His name is Bubba. Good my Bubba. And so I said, you know, I, so I'm looking at this guy from Louisiana, and I'm watching his stroke. He played. Well, he played like 600 feet at least. And I don't mean my, like part time, all his whole stroke, everything, his position, his two ball position was perfect. And so I go, so I go look him up on, uh, I go look him up on Fargo. And the guy's name was in there, and in parentheses, Bubba. I'm like, I think, <laughs> so I'm yeah. thinking, Oh, I know who the, I know who this guy is. Freaking Greg Cool sent him down here. And I see like you gotta go play these tables, just go your head and you know, the whole I can see him, I can see him. So after the guy wins this tournament, right, and I'm talking to him, I says, Hey, listen, I said, I'll make sure you um, tell Greg. I said, he says, All right, I'll tell him. I said, You're gonna tell Greg, I said, Hello, he says, Yeah, I'll make sure I tell him hello. The guy it was it's definitely the guy. Yeah. <laughs> well and he sent him to win this easy tournament. You know, the only thing is there's not there's no system that's perfect, unfortunately. Yes. Uh, and you're going to find ways, if you really want to try to rob a tournament, there's going to be ways to do it. So, you know, just uh, hopefully they, you know, the next time the tournament comes in Vegas, they, you know, do something to change it. But it's, uh, 
they've taken this robust all the way up to 800 at minimum 800. Yeah. I mean, that's this is about you can't just like, you can go to a thousand. Like it doesn't. It's not hard to get robust anyway. I'm at a good old 68 robust right now. That's it. <laughs> I'm trying. Just keep, just do what you got to do. All right, yeah. I ain't sweating it. If Fargo gets too high up there, oh well. I love having you on the team. I just, I just hope we don't play your, your team. This is the one that we should show up. Okay. <laughs> All the guys know, except for Drew. <laughs> Drew, when Drew came up, I've been talking to Drew. Yeah. Like I, I talk, talk to Drew. Like when Drew comes in here, he comes and hangs out with me because, you know, he's a. Uh, well, it's the same thing, right? We had a decent team on paper. First couple of weeks, we were in first place, and then we just had to give out too much weight. People got mad. We got mad. And the so there's a lot. Jump, there, there's a lot of players on your team that have anger issues. Yeah, <laughs> I so I say. didn't. We just didn't gel anymore, and it was no fun. Yes. You know, if I'm going to take time, leave work a little early, play with the guys, want to be on a team that I have some fun with. Um, well, so you will you will find that on our yeah. team. <laughs> you might find a couple of people that drink a little too much. You might find, uh, Fred's on our team. Fred is like very relaxed person, nice guy, and he's another one that has. Ooh, you know what? That's what you got to do, baby. Nine three. That puts it at nine three. So he's. So he said, "Nice shot to him." I don't think he meant it. A little sarcastic humor. I think so. I'm really sure. Constantly, you know, you know, you can't run out. Fuck it. I'm really looking forward to this one pocket tournament. I know we're not going to get all the top players because of that overlap in Puerto Rico, but listen, it opens I'm up sure the field. We're gonna have, I don't know. Sure Any Tony will be here, and I know. don't. I don't know. Well, yeah, maybe. I know uh, Tony won it. No, he, he won the. I think he won Banks and got second in the one pocket. The um, it's going to be definitely the field's going to be opened up for a lot of seven hundred players to come out here and actually get a shot at having it to be, be able to call themselves a one pocket U.S. Open one pocket champion. So yeah, and it's a good format: race to four, race to three. You're getting your money's worth anyway. Three hundred thirty bucks. It's not expensive. Not at all. Good price to play, yeah. Are and you going to have another qualifier before it goes? So, yeah. So, I, I will be putting out a flat. So, I, I messed up my computer. I'm waiting for a new computer to come in. <laughs> um, I screwed up my computer. And so, I got a new computer coming back. And, and it's my own fault. I tried to make it as fast as possible. And I and I deleted something I shouldn't have deleted <laughs> in the program. And, and then uh, realized that I didn't know the password to my... <laughs> Windows, Windows 10 or whatever. I think it's Windows 10. And so now I'm stuck out of it. I can't, I've tried everything I can. I've used every, tried every password I know. I can't get back in. I can't even like reformat it. To, to, to well, I got to go computer guy. The one he does all my storage. So. The uh, well, my computer, my computer is probably 12, 14 years old oh. anyway. So I'm just getting another one. And it's coming. I bought it off of. Uh, Amazon, which is just a great deal for what I'm getting, and so I'm supposed to get that next week, and then so I'm kind of chilled at the house for nothing. So you'll probably see me down here a lot next week on this thing <laughs> to do a lot of stuff. I mean, all this is a computer that's built for chain. Himself a little far from the floor, but the flies hanging near the pocket. And it's nice and clean. This it gets on the five. This is what they call Cosmo. It should be paint by number. I mean, stop the nine and side. Right so in the they call this a Cosmo. See, I thought it was just a road trip. <laughs> You're on a map, baby. The map. Cosmo is a little old school. What is Cosmo? What do you mean? Like uh, a Cosmo is paint by numbers, like uh, oh, it an is? easy run out. Oh, yes. it is? Okay, that's where the Cosmo is? Yep. And I'm ordering you. <laughs> well, you Barely. That a little bit. Barely ordered you. Let me put that out there. Barely. <laughs> oh. 
overpowered that ball a little bit. Is this their regular Timberwolves call shot? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just standard. Yes. Um, yeah. The um, you get tired of talking, you, you you can take a break. I got no problem with that. I appreciate you, you that. Could, you can talk for both of us. I am pretty good at it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, I feel comfortable talking. I'm being by myself talking, but I do enjoy having somebody to fire off of. You know, it helps mix it funner. We got to get funny. your glass booth, you so, know, or something, I'm, so they don't hear, and we could actually so, sit and watch. The so game. that's what that's what the that's what the issue was. So I'm I am building one. Um, I just think the materials. I thought this tournament was first off. I thought this tournament was next weekend, so I thought I had time. And there is a booth in the back that I was going to set up, but once again, I thought the tournament started on Saturday, not on Friday. And I was going to come in here today and have it all set up. It's it, but it's a Frankenstein booth. I mean, this thing is plywood and oh, it's it's Frankenstein bad. Constantine might just keep shooting himself in the foot enough to where. Yeah, it's a race to ten. Eleven. Eleven. So we've got just put some money here if he gets out. Unfortunately, he wins this game. I don't see him coming back. But we got a little bit out of line here. A little bit. Um, you hit this ball. You cut this ball to the side pocket. Well, from this angle, it's hard to see. I, if I could make it down the corner without scratching. Yeah, I'm just going to have to float it. But the other thing you could do... Uh, it, it looks like the float is going to scrap. That's what I'm saying. The other thing you could do is, if you really want to jam your kid up... You go three rails? Go three rails with the nine ball and draw the cube off next to the ten. Yeah. So you're going to be locked up and you can lock them up right by the ten ball. Yeah, that's, it's that's, hard to hold it because yeah, you're so worried about scratching in the side. Well, I was thinking he could do that same shot and just go ahead and bring it down and in and back yeah. out to where the cue ball was. Yeah, he could have, but he could have played safe and hooked them right yes. on a can and put the no, nine that up was, in that corner. That's a great shot. That might have been the right shot. Which is why, which is why I'm saying that Costine is not out of this. Yeah. Because it should have been out of the home. Hey, man, you gonna help with a commentary or tape? Good, good. Right you don't fuck my partner. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> Yeah. No. Yep. There we go. Four nine. Right? He's he's battling back in here. Yeah. If he gets to six, yeah. nine. It's, well, it's a big be... difference. Ten to three, than nine to four. Oh, right? Huge. So that's oh, huge yeah. the guys on the hill. And I'm, and I'm telling you, Fong hasn't played the best pool, but yeah. he's just been great, given a lot of opportunities. So. I like this, and I think Constantine finally settled in. He might have settled in because you came in here. If you came in there, he actually he started settling in yeah. again. You always run a route for the nice guys, right? And being local. Are you talking about Constantine? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> as long as he keeps on donating to me in one pocket. This guy, is he nice guy. Just, just like, so I'm a full believer in helping out everybody. Constantine helps out everybody. Yeah. Like, man, he's got people's backs 100%. I know. I know you. You're the same way. When, just one of them sweeter than sweet guys, man. I'm telling you. I'm glad you said you had a wife. I was starting to wonder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I should say shit like that. I know. So me right here, I'm just going to run the cue ball to the other side of too long and just split them. Get it safe. Yeah. Then can't go behind it. the three because the one's going to hit the two, so he has to... The other and, way. and you don't even have to hit this hard. Just enough where it rolls up into the one ball, three ball, two. Uh, now you're having an early combo to ten, also. Oh, you could do that, I guess. Well, no, what I would oh. do, I'd push it out. I would oh. make the ten. If you if you can make an early ten, I would never leave a ten in that pocket. I'd rather push out, make the ten ball, so it gets spotted. Ooh, you can try oh. to get behind or not. You kind of hate it. Yeah. But, you know, that's the other thing you could do. If, if uh, you can make early 10, you make the 8 with a push out, so you still see the 1, but the 10 gets spotted, right? It's not hanging in the pocket. Even up the if he could have got a good safety in behind the 8 ball, he definitely had a shot at a 1 10 combination to get another game on the wire quick. Right? I yeah. mean, that's. It's... Speaking of Mitch Ellerman. But, uh, 
I wonder if he called the pinball ball in that shot or did he just fire that ball to knock it in the pocket? He got lucky because he, he has, all he has is a combo on the well, slide ball at this point. If he has a decent enough stroke, he could draw it right back into the cue uh, ball back into the 10. I definitely. That's what I would do. That's yes. what I would try. He's drawing back for sure. Uh, what? So the one, two, five balls kind of stuck behind the seven. Well, you could even bank it into oh, the he ten right he, now. Just, he called it. Oh, missed it completely. And none of these guys would have these chances if he would have pushed and made the ten ball. Right. That would have been a regular That's ten That's true. Ball. You have to worry about that shit. Right? Yes. Sometimes but. you got to play a little smart. <laughs> shooting, shooting at that tempo. Yeah. Now even if he misses, he hooks him behind the six or something like that. That'll be great. Put a little too hard. Hold on, hold you take it. Oh god, you better hope that ball rolls more. You're in deep shit. All right, there you go. Like you're saying, you made that tempo early. You ain't got to worry about this. Yeah. Because it wasn't an easy run out from where no. it was at, right? No. You'll never have the ten in the side. If they can run out, push, push the tempo in, let yourself be able to see the one. You know, I think none of them has been running out. So that's I what think you, you just do. thought about the an early ten ball yeah. and getting himself caught back up with the two ball. Did end up safe on his first shot behind the eight ball. Well, one of, the, to one of the things you have to do in any game, one pocket, nine balls, play the opponent, right? right. Just like 100%. poker, you yes. got to play the opponent, yes. right? So if you know he hasn't been playing good, none of them are running out. Then you do that because why give them a chance at that? To get on right? the hill, like, because push out, he's not going to run out 10 balls. Sure. He's in a bad spot, right? Sure. Yeah. Give yourself a fighting chance. There, you make a mistake and a 10 balls yeah. hanging. So the risk was the risk was either you catch up to five or he gets on the hill. So it's the same thing with no one profit, right? To if you're yeah. playing a guy that doesn't shoot that great, you could bank to your hole all the time and leave a two ball long. Right, right. You leave them long shots. You got to find out what they're good at, what they're not good at. People do that shit to me all the time. <laughs> it's, or it's like Nick went in the the uh, seniors uh, one pocket, right? Yeah. Thirteen hour match because yeah. he was pushing the balls yeah. and all the way down to the other table and just thirteen hours of race of three, and it was three one. I think I don't think he went to hell. <laughs> That's. That's the one pocket that people don't like. No. <laughs> Ronnie told me, he said last year when he won it, when he played Nick, it's like he didn't give Nick a chance. And so he just opened up the balls and ran them yeah. out. He's like, screw it. I'm not even giving the opportunity. Well, there's an older guy out here who I won't name names who used to tell me he was a great one pocket player his whole life. And yeah. I played him a couple times and he plays really slow. So last night I saw him and I told him I'd give him a ball. If he played with a 30 second shot And of course he said no. no. <laughs> I mean, uh, talking like, you know, you play 50 uh, a game and one game takes two and a half hours. So it's, uh, the table time was more. Yeah. So. Does he talk much? Is he a talker too? Yeah. Is he slow and a talker? Yeah. He is. <laughs> oh. I think he was here earlier. <laughs> so I like the guys. <laughs> so, you know, I like to everybody. Yeah, uh, you know, I get along with everybody. Well, right? oh, see, here's a perfect example. He he had a free ball. He missed it. Guy's not running out. That's why I go back to playing. You know, played a perfect. Oh, nice no. shot. Yes, he did. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. So. What's that? It should be. Oh yeah. It should be nine That's six, such, not ten five. Right? Could have easily been nine six. And how much pressure is that on it? That's that's big pressure. So we got RJ over there sitting on the wall playing one of the Filipino players here in town. Okay. And he's one of the better ones, at five eighty and under. He's got a shot to do well. I wish I, could, I, I wish this, they would keep the score on the pills too. I mean, on the balls as well. So. Yeah. 
like you know, I, did, I can look that up. Well, that's what I thought they were up here too. I'm like, how yes. can it be seven? What? I'm trying to count beads. Yes. To see if it matches the seven to one when I walk. A lot of people do both. Because I, me personally, I like it having up there so I can glance up there at it and, and just it just remind. Like I like people. Some people don't like knowing what the score is. I like knowing exactly what the score is, no matter what. So I know whether or not I can. Just a reminder. Just a constant reminder to push me. And create that. Looks like you have a good break. Good shot on the wine. Everything looks open. Does the three ball open? Yeah, I think it goes past the five. Yeah, I think right it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, do you just come straight up the rail and shoot the three ball to the left side pocket? Well, you we want two rails behind it, so yeah. shoot to the corner. Okay, that's in perfect position. Just try not to do too much. That's a straight stop shot. Three position. ball, four ball, five ball. I mean, get yourself out of that. Yeah. Ten six, and if if you run out, then the other guy is in his mind. Yeah. Even, even being on the hill. Yeah. I, I tell you, a lot of times I get on a hill like this, mine is just settle in. Sooner or later, they're going to make a mistake and give you a shot. Yeah. You just take it. I think he jumped up. He fired the hell out of it. It might not go past the ten ball. You might have to play a save. Or play the ten ball. Okay. Nice. Oh, no, it went. Okay. I wasn't sure. Oh. So normally I would have more cameras set up, and I will tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll have at least two views, probably three. Today, this is my fault because I completely didn't know this thing was starting today. I thought I was setting up today. Oh, so the three didn't pass. So from our Great. angle, it looked like it did. But it didn't. So do you do you play the ten ball here? Because you could be playing safe as well. Yeah, he's playing the ten ball. I just wrong call it. So you could even just yeah. roll into it and maybe end up being behind the eight if you don't. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I definitely have my, I, the, the clear booth should have been already been built two times. I, I got so much going on that I freaking yeah. didn't take the time to make sure that I knew when this to make play. I thought it was next weekend and then I met, and I thought it was something tomorrow. Yeah, like I said, I was here last night. I was surprised you weren't set up because you're normally right on with everything when it comes to streaming. It makes it so much easier. Thank God I got in here all week to set it up to where I have easy connections. It took me less than five minutes to set up. It's like, bam. Not like the last time when you were no. moving past. <laughs> and the only reason why I got one wire hanging down there is because I ran the wrong wire for the internet. So, so and, I'm, and I was planning on doing that today. It's just it's going to be an easy fix. I just got to get it done. So are yeah. you taking donations for oh, your I, streaming? Oh, yeah. that people know? I don't, not at this point, but I should be, but I haven't. I'm at this point. Well, we appreciate the work you do. Okay. Yeah, so I'm hope, you know, I usually get tipped out pretty good about that. <laughs> Tournament directors and people running some of tend, tend to tip me out pretty decent. Marcus got to play in the tournament because there was only 40 people, and he won his first match. <laughs> That looks pretty clean. Did that? Did that? Yeah, that looked that looked pretty clean when he shot it. There's a little angle on the six ball too. He should be fine. Yeah, but he can make it roll up. Yeah, play the seven down the right same that corner, or if the angle's different where we can't see it, just come past and play it in the side. So really, maybe maybe it makes him feel maybe you can pull it back two rails yeah. and play it in the side. Yeah. yeah. Side pocket. Oh man, that's this is a this is uh the key here is just leave the right angle on the eight ball. This is lunch. He can even be straight he can be he can even be straight in on this ball and just roll forward. I mean, I'd rather have the angle, but yeah. I'm just making sure, yeah, I'm just making sure that ball's got at least eighteen inches away from it so I can do whatever I need to and not be up on the top of it. So 
go inside and just bring it out and over. There you go. That's perfect. That's fine. Same pocket. So we had we had a we had an issue earlier where Marcus was playing and he played this fantastic safety on this guy, right? So when they took the magic rack off the table, a little bit was sitting on the table and where the cue ball hit the rail, it actually touched the magic rack. And I mean barely touched it, but touched it. And uh, the other guy called a foul. Well, you know, it's just like a piece of chalk. Yeah, you go to shoot, the chalk goes on the table. All right. Hits the cue ball. Hits the cue ball. I mean, you know, goes foul. near it, it's a foul. So there we go. Everybody has to be responsible for their own stuff, unfortunately. So we have a winner, Fong Lin, yeah. beats Constantine Alexander. From California, correct? From California. Yeah. Stockton. And you watch out for them Stockton boys now. Talk about gangster. And they start throwing some <laughs> hand signs on you. I think everybody in California is a gangster now. <laughs> I appreciate your help. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unmic you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take your whole day. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that to you. But if you want to come back over, you can. But let you come in here and hang out a little bit. Thank you. So I guess I'll see you on Monday, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I tried to make my schedule right up. All right, guys, so we've got, we got Jason Duck up next. Well, I'll tell you, a lot of people got bombs back. He shot great. The new match will start here very quickly. The guys are on their way now. Jace, Jace or Doug? Jace. Jace? Okay. I'm Eric. Yes, sir. All right, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. See you Monday. Doug? Okay. Chase right there. Oh, 
view I'm kind of look, working with a little bit today. Um, oh, I think just a little player view what you're looking at here. I uh, can't really can't get the table in focus yet, but just kind of get it started. I'm not going to show a lot of it. Um, being how I was running late today, I don't have a lot of table views. I only have the one. Uh, the final eight tomorrow, we will definitely have more views. So Doug won the flip. Jace, where are you from? This is the fifth annual Sam Lin Chow. From Drift Theory, streamed by Drift TV. It is a race to 11, single elimination, 580 and under, $1,000 Have the U.S. Open Bank in one pocket starting now. And on November 6th to the 12th, guys, this will be a wide open tournament. Join in if you're in the 700 700 range cargo. Man, I'd be in it. I think you have every chance to win this title. See you guys then. Set the table right now. And early pinball for a 1 0 lead. Ready to get out. Looks like a nice clean line. Let me go find out. This may be the last match of the day. Let me double check. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to walk through the crowd. I'm going to spread out a body.
So guys, this is the last match for today. We ran the hell out of this tournament. We'll be down to eight. The eight players come back tomorrow are in the cash. First place is 16,000. If you look on the digital pool, you will see that the money is already broken down. That is strictly, the last time I looked, it was just strictly the tournament money. There is side pots and a Calcutta involved here. So tomorrow when we come back, there'll be eight players. Tried for nearly ten ball right there. And then, yeah, same time, nice shot. See if you can hit the four. So, now that we're live down in part in the group up here, everybody, everybody wants to come and say, want to put online? I do that all the time. I roam around and I'll walk up with somebody. And I won't tell them I'm live and I'll get them to start talking. They'll say something. I say, "Yeah, no, I'm live." Right? They're like, "What?" I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm not allowed to walk down onto people anymore. No telling what they'll say. So Jason's got a nice little chance to get out here. Uh, biggest shot can be the from five to the six, I think, and probably back to the seven. So that seven ball does kind of come and play just a little bit. Um, only because he's going to create a different angle to the six ball, so he might have to, so he's just going to go for it. Um, so he just put a little bottom left on it and just brought it, just kept it on the left side of the seven ball and brought it down. Pretty straight on the six ball. Hey. Good, 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 good. Yeah, got a little bit straight on that six ball inside the power it in. Hard to do on tight pocket table. Sometimes you just got to take what it gives you. Do you guys know either one of these players? I know Doug. Where's he from? Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Okay. Okay. So Dallas Fort Worth area. Dallas Fort Worth area. Yes, sir. Okay. Doug's from the Dallas Fort Worth area. I'm I'm on the mic. I'm mic'd up. I'm actually talking to the live stream. I get you're on the live stream now. <laughs> so Doug's from the Dallas Fort Worth area. Uh, I end up uh, my first job uh, ever in construction. Gonna push the seven ball, play a little safety. I like it. Nice shot. I got action. You do. See you guys later. So. <laughs> 
show my uh, co-anchor for a few minutes there, uh, Ernie Antonini. Got him, was planning on leaving, but I guess you got some. How are you playing? Uh, is coming in now. Okay. Got in some action. Table one? Got in some action on table one. I'm sure it's one pocket. Let me turn off the mic and I'll just find out for you. I'm not, they might not be. We got one action table gun down here. That thing has been non-stop action all day. It's still going to be non-stop action. No. Ernie. Still one more match. All right, I'm still back here. Scores one one. It is one one. You got played nice safe and then got out. Uh, broke, made the one ball on the break. He has the two ball to the side pocket and the three ball in position to play. I don't know where Jack Angle is on the three ball, but looks like he's in pretty good shape. The four to the five might be the key shot here. He gets in the four to two, makes it all, and he's three ball, he's got to take a field, and he's going to four to five. Let's see what happens. Nice shot. This is a really good match up. Both these guys are playing well. Stuff a little bit of an angle. The seven ball it comes into play on this shot. So he is going to try to. Yeah, the problem is the seven and the eight come in. He got uh, no go. Guys have a little gap between the eight ball and the two ball where he can pick it in well and just kind of freeze up the two ball there. Pull it right back to one to eight. And great shot. Great shot. And tied to five near the seven. So now that he shoots it too far to the left, he could definitely foul off the seven ball and get ball in hand. All the five on the side.
Doug's going to get mauled in here. I guess that's one way to get from the 4 to the 5. Thank you. So we just rolled in. Bring himself a little bit. Got himself a nice angle after the seven. Once again, he's working himself a little bit close to the ten ball. He should be all right. He'll come out in between him. Oh, around him. There you go. That's the line. Keeping it simple. Smooth stroke. Don't let go, don't rock, don't power drive, nothing. Keep up. Digging now, just roll in. Keep the eight balls to the bottom left. Top, keep the top left corner. A little bit short there, hit it a little, hit it a little thick. Lost ball action, but it's okay. He's gonna have to play this ball. He's definitely gonna have to go more than one rail, so it might go in rail to in rail back out to position. He might end up going four rails to position. Two of these sides here. I don't think he's just going to go four or two. That's what he's, uh, he wants. He's going to. Oh, missed the ball. Kind of poked it a little bit. I think he wasn't really sure with that shot and poked it. Uh, and. Ball definitely goes to the corner pocket. Nice shot, so the pocket. We can roll down to the 10 ball. Or just stop it. He's just gonna stop it right there and play. Oh, nope, going in, okay. Ten ball in the corner, take a two one. Lose. You're taking a break? I'm sure I have a Good break. All right. So this is the last match on the TV table today. Um, so the winner of this will be in the money. Top eight.
can have four clean shots. That's the one ball in. There's two balls. You can roll across it. Keep the three butt ball to the top right. Football is by the side pocket. He's got a nice wide open table here. Uh, five to the six to the seven might be his most difficult thing here. Eight ball to the nine ball might not be that easy. Now. He's just going to pull it from both to the same pocket. Uh, Got to make that ball. He's a little bit fat. Um, I gave Jace a good chance to get out there. Probably gonna roll the cue ball in behind the eight. That wasn't a great shot. He gave, definitely gave Doug a chance to get out here on him. People walking by me because I'm standing away from the table screaming and they think I'm talking to myself. I am not a crazy person. Doug has a real good chance to make this ball get out. It's a real good, good move. Take safe. Okay. Did he get there? Oh, he hit, he hit that perfect speed. Nice shot. Five is a blocker on the angle. He might be able to shoot it between the five and the six. on that ball. Um, okay. Doug now has ball in hand. So just sort of bring the ball over to the top right, bring it back across the table. Let it go two rails, guys. Don't try to hold it. Don't try to hold it. You end up missing the ball. Just let it go two rails, come back to front. If you played that a little soft instead of putting it away. Monday's weekly tournament. Yeah, it turned out real good the first one, huh? Yeah. Ooh. Doing commentary. <laughs> I 
you think that plant is safe in here? Just gonna keep up to the end well. And uh, hit it pretty good. Hit it pretty good. This is trying to stick it into the side pocket. And did left the shot again. So I guess the chance to get out again. Get this all tied up at two. Safe from there, so he's kicking again. I believe. This match started out with a lot of potential, but right now it's pretty much just kind of. Doug playing his out moving Jace, even though know, Jace is up 2 to 1. And Jace battling to try to stay in it. Doug has definitely controlled the table. In. All the five of the side pockets. And then Doug has ball in hand again. Straight in this ball, so I imagine he's just going to fall back. Now he's done that inside English shot and just pushed the ball past the side. That's a combo. Tell you what, Jace has made the best of every time he's gotten a shot to get out, he has gotten out. So he's shooting well. In a match of table control versus getting out. Is it locked? You ain't big enough to yank on that door. That's the problem. Is she had to help you. <laughs> Match. He does that because Doug is definitely out shooting. <laughs> oh, 
I guess they've been playing around with the 10-ball. So I <laughs> got a little tied up with a door that wasn't opening properly. We had it fixed. Uh, you can take the 10-ball to the side pocket to go 2-2. Two, two. Here we go, 2-2. Two, two. That smile was so big, I think he went and missed you say being nice to him. <laughs> what? I know, I can tell. Did you play in the tournament also? Did you play in the tournament also? You just here hanging out? Yeah. Okay. Well, so far, so he wins this one, he's in the money. And he's, he's got total table control. Very smart player. This and it's pockets. The pockets are tighter, for sure. Yeah. The uh, do you have you have you shared it out to Texas? No. You share the stream. Yeah. Griff's TV. Griff's TV. Uh huh. Okay. Subscribe to if you don't mind. I'm trying to get to, trying to get to a thousand subscriptions. I'm only at like four fifty. Yeah, yes it is. It's also on my Facebook too. If you want to, if we want my Facebook, I can give you that and make it even easier. E Eric E R I C K I N T Z E R. Right there at the top. Uh, yeah. So we are we are. So this is it right now. Um, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Does that say no? Yeah, live too. Yes, that is it. Hundred percent. Share this. Are we friends yet or not? I just followed you. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm following. Okay. And then. Uh, um. Oh shit. <laughs> I know. Oh, I heard you do whatever you I appreciate everything. Thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe, okay? Make sure you you good job. I appreciate you so much. Caught the pinball in that shot. I wasn't watching. Sorry, guys. That 
is not going to go. Using the stable open. So Doug came in and played a bunch of safety. Some stable was going to the control. Josh was in stroke at first. It looks like he might have lost his stroke a little bit. Just so much stable control. He, people that are not used to being that happen tend to uh, put it down as missing balls. That's not the truth. He just got outplayed, outmoved on the table. Once again, Doug just playing table control, trying to get Josh, and Jason, excuse me, Jason, out of stroke. It's worked so far to the point where he is slowed down, trying to find it again. Let me a little safety battle here now. Looks like, he's gonna, looks like he's gonna have to go to the end there with a little bit of right spin, spin in for it. And that is a good hit. He did leave an opening here. Three ball does go. With a natural position to the four. Biggest issue is the right angle to, he almost has to be almost kind of that back angle again to get to the five ball and the four ball to make this ball. Comes up short, he's going to have to go through track. And you know what? He might be able to pull that ball either one way or maybe hit between the eight and seven or just straight down to the seven ball. I just pull it straight down to seven ball. Oh, he went one round. Hey. Two, two. Hey, Jace has been playing good, man. Nothing crazy here. Just make a letter, get the run, come back out. Nice. Eight ball is in the pocket. So he can just get the two ball towards the center of the table. He's perfect. So maybe a little bottom right and just pull it back out the center. There we go. Might have been just straight bottom. Still a good shot. He's got a little bit of an angle here. So he's just going to try to pull it out. Oh, he's able to stop that ball. He's straight in. Check. Jace takes a 3-2 lead. This is going to be a great match. If you like good competitive pool, good action, good movement.
both players look very confident and comfortable. So this could go definitely either way. Marcus. Looks like he's shooting at the 110 combination with the fact that it'd be safe afterwards. He called it Benmo. It is a it is a relatively safe shot. This doesn't have to get once he didn't shoot it hard, he's pretty safe. Yeah, he's safe. That was, which is, he was pretty much playing the safe with the chance to make the come up. It was kind of a two-way shot. It was more about the safe. I think that's why he wasn't as accurate as it could have been. Bank shot on that. Play the station down by the three ball. I believe he, he, he might have to, I think he's going to either have to spin into this ball, yeah. Safe back. Left an opening again. Let's see if Dex can uh, get out. Everything has a has multiple pockets. He's got a nice match with Chris Carpenter's killers, and I think he might be the favorite. Doug is out of stroke. Good and oh no, oh god, it is it wasn't the best shot in the world. <laughs> Trying to do better, but it's hard sometimes. So he just makes this two ball. And it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, I was getting hit with six balls. There you go. There you go. Oh, God. You know what? Everybody needs to roll once in a while. So, you just three balls and come around. Come out. 
fires it hard, it goes to the side pocket. There it goes. Nice shot. He can shoot So he's shooting it to the side pocket. Um, try to see so he's going to come forward one route out to the five. Don't hit the ten and he's good. Not bad. Still makeable. Head to the corner and go two rail position to the six. Safe though. All right. There is a one to two yard uh, kick. I think I'm going two yards on this ball. Good two yards. We should be able to come right around or not. There's one route. Could hang up a little bit inside, but might be okay there too much. Yeah, I like the two yards out better. Is if you bring it in too tight. Once again. Chuck has control of the game again. Let's see if he can finish this out. He just plays this one out. He's probably in pretty good shape to do well. It's been a really even match. It's been actually movement, moving, and again, shooting. Chuck has been out moving him. Jason's been out shooting him. He can run this rack out here. That would definitely be a momentum for him. See how he is out moving. <laughs> out moving Jace. Love me system. To make it 3-3. Free free. Go one rail out. He's gonna go two rail to position. I don't think I'd have just gone one. I think this one right here is you're gonna to have to go earlier when he tried to go ahead and try to she kept um, missing shots inside. So. I'm just going to take what he gives me. I'm going to just make sure I make this ball. Put the people ball towards the center of the table. And that's exactly what he did. He didn't put no funky English on. Funky. I said funky English on the ball. Where earlier he did twice or he missed shots twice because of it. This one right here is just a little run in the which we bring the two ball back off the ground, back out. Maybe even two rows. There we go. Nice position. This is for 3-3. Three, three. Three, three, race to 11. The winner is in the money. The loser is out of the tournament.
we will be down to the final eight today. So there will be any, this was set for three days. It will be a two-day tournament. It is a 580 and under. $1,000 entry fee. Max players was 64. We've had 64 the last few years. We had 64 commitments. 24 backed out in the last couple of days. Ended up with 40 exactly. First place. Total with side pots and everything is going to be right at $30,000 for a 40 man two day tournament. $30,000 for first place. Got it a little tight there, and uh, he does have a shot. The ball is very makeable. The four ball is right by his elbow. Oh, I'm wrong. The four ball was in the other end behind the nine ball. And, and I'm telling you, I. Definitely a close shot right here. I think the four ball goes. It does. Five ball goes. I think that shot is about a half an inch up the rail. I could be wrong. Yeah, he definitely played that. He played the safe for sure, hundred percent on that. I have no idea what he was trying to do there. He's got a little bit of a roll though. Anything can do. No one's something to watch judges now. He can definitely play a safety here with five ball going either. Just stopping it right there and going two rounds. Or, and look, there we go. Bringing the. I guess he figured I'm putting the shoe ball down by the sixth ball, so if he makes his five ball, every time, but he's got a shot here. He might be able to just uh, pull this ball one rail off the side rail back down. So he's got to make his ball. I might be able to do I can't cut the angle. Might well go up straight down. He's one rail off. Um, it's getting ugly in that, baby. Let's see. He can hit this ball. He cannot make it. I'll let you go across corner. Oh. I'll be just going to push it to the end rail on the two ball down table. I'll take that ball. Mm. A little, little rougher than I would have. Got it down a little thinner. And uh, barely strike it. Never missed a shot from this side of the. He's got the five ball. Put too much stuff on this set. Cue ball's gonna stop. He didn't hit it perfect. He got great position on the set. And this has been a battle. He's got to shoot over the eight. That makes it a whole lot tougher. There's not a pro in town that likes this shot for the money. Back against the table. Shooting over the eight ball. Then shot to the pocket. Yep, there you go, and that's why. 
And did he get, he got, he got lucky on the roll of the cue ball. Got up underneath it. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Doug gets this ball the way the six ball just comes back here to the back where the, the rack is and the cue ball down table. We could go other directions, but I think that's probably the easier one to get position. Safe position. Separate the balls. Yeah, he tried to at least. That's easy. He got safe. He is behind the 10 ball. If he goes long rail first, he's definitely going to have a little. Have to, I'm going to spin Mass Hater's ball just a little bit. Quite a bit, actually. He went straight left on it. Oh, nice hit. And. Relatively safe. It's no the Jimmy's there. Oh, that ball does go to the, to the left corner. Um, the angle is hard for him to hold the cue ball behind the 10. Looks like he's picking up. See that way he lines up on this ball. Now, you guys some idea what he's doing? Yes, Brandon. Manager Brandon's here. I'm doing my commentary from over here. It's worth it. It's worth it. I'm going to set up some more cameras tonight, though. We're going to have better vision tomorrow. This is going to be the final, the semifinals, and then the finals on that one tomorrow. The first round when we have eight, it's going to yeah. be every other table. So we 13, 22, uh, like 25 and 27. I'll, I'll put one up here so you have it. I'm good with that. So they try to play a little safety when they keep ball down here behind the 8 7. Um, the 10 ball kind of makes this 6 ball weird because the cue ball definitely wants to run towards the 10 ball. And if he tries to hold it a little bit, he's got a chance of scratching his side. So he has to put some. Weird. He's gonna pull it. He's got to pull it. Yes, this that was the weirdest thing about it is that it had to hit the ten ball. He got a nice roll. It goes to the side pocket or corner. He got off. He probably side pocket and just pull it back a few inches. Jason, you get more. And this is a great battle. I could have asked for a better match than today. This is the match. If you don't appreciate this play, then you're never going to appreciate the poor game of pool. Oh, God. Did I just jinx him? I think I just jinxed him. because he's been one down, tied it up, one down, tied it up, one down, tied it up. He has the opportunity to finally take the lead. Nice and clean, pulled up to the rail. He has a nice, good, decent shot on the tempo. He rolled it a little hard, but still a decent shot on the tempo. You get a clean stroke there. You don't want to. Oh, he yeah, left it out of the pocket. He left it out of the pocket. This is up against the 10 ball. Nice 
Oh, he did the same thing. Same exact job. Hung it in the pocket. So I got a 4 3 lead. I did not jinx him that time. I kept my mouth quiet. No one can say anything different. You're lucky I like Texas. <laughs> minute break there he uh, got a little out of stroke I believe I think uh, the other part of that issue is he's just been out shooting and out moving and when he out moves it makes it difficult sometimes to get in stroke and that's one of the finer parts parts of that pool so sometimes just because you can run out somebody gets you playing bad like Doug has done to Jace You guys remember we had the US Open one pocket in banks December 6th to the 12th this is $330 entry fee with 30 of that's a green fee that's it and there's a huge tournament in Puerto Rico so this opens up this tournament to almost all level players the shot at actually getting a US Open title So make you think about it. November 6th through the 9th. Guys, it's only about what, five, six weeks away. Entry fees relatively. Take a trip to Las Vegas. Get to play against the US Open. There's there gonna be a few champions here. Quite a few, but not as bad as it could be. Come kind of take your shot at the US Open. See you then. We will be streaming it live. There will be a free live stream of it. So please go on down. If not, jump into our stream on that is November 6th through the 12th. And hope to see you there on the stream or live. Great opportunity to play. If you're a full player anywhere in the six fifty seven hundred dollar seven hundred Fargo range, you should be in this tournament because you have a great shot of doing well. In the past, we've had a lot of champions here. We just ended up being uh, scheduled for a tough week. We tried to do the Z shot. And... Uh, He's got a little bit more energy and now he's taking that break. This is pretty well open to right up to the 8-9. Like the 8-9, you might need to keep two balls in the shot because they're both by the side pocket on the rail. Uh, you back the fish shot and he'll be okay with it, but it's a tough out with that 8-9 with a no okay. You'll be able to make a lot of balls, so find a stroke. But he's gonna have to. Get decent position today, uh, for playing stage. 
a lot of times I'll get a ball to like that. I'll, I'll play up the eight ball. And then I'll play a position to where I can shoot that eight ball, stop the skull right there, and have the eight ball go three well safe. And then try to get the ball in hand for the eight nine. It's going to be a whole lot easier. He actually might be able to take this six off the nine ball and open it up. See what he does back here. He looks like he might be down the rail too far, but it's opportunity to say. Hey. He's thinking about it, I believe. Oh, I heard it clean. Alright. Here we go. I don't need to. That is good. Thank you. Man, we got to see that the bigger fish is at 8 9. Try to play soft and come to like the middle of the table and end up hooking himself. So, the biggest issue with that is, um, jumping just the, oh no, the, um, is that this block could easily jump off the table. The oh, no, ball went right up the rail and back in. Alright. This is the old damage shot everybody used to try to pull on you when you were younger. Put both balls on the rail and make sure they straight down the table on a tight pocket table. He makes this ball too late for the hell of the straight, but he's definitely going to have to go inside English. I mean, we can't get much worse to try to win a game. In old school, you should know the shot. But it's on a tight pocket table. Wow. Oh, he shot it. Oh, that ball's so good. <laughs> that ball's so good. Chase might be in trouble if that shot. Chase might be in trouble if that shot. Ball does go to the side pocket. Hey, what's up? The stress levels tonight? Mm. No, here is. What time is it? Yeah, she's not here yet. But when she does get here, she'll be right over in that corner right there. Oh, yeah. Right by the door, to the left, right of the door right there. Nine foot, not seven. Oh. I'm sorry, guys, I had so much to ask me. Did he miss a symbol to the toy box? No, he must have said he'd roll this way, huh? Okay. After that beautiful shot down the rail, dude. Oh, no. Well, it's, it's an old school, like him being old enough to know that's an old school gambling shot there where you got to put a bunch of inside on it. He hit that ball perfect. Oh, he did. He hit it great. He missed the eight, he missed the 10 to the side. And get lucky that he didn't make it. Wow. So that, 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 that's the, I'm actually going to put that shot. I'm going to separate that shot and create its own little thing on, on YouTube. And. Uh, that was a beautiful shot. Yeah, both of them were. And 
fight by the table, and he hit it perfect. That ball ran straight just as soon as it fit down the table. We're recovering the tables for the U.S. Open, which is uh, about five weeks from now. The U.S. Open one pocket bank. I will. Oh, yeah, you'll have it. Are you big enough? If you're already following, I'll be saying if you have 100 now. That's pretty sweet. Oh, you're unlucky, man. In that last game, I thought Dick was going to run out down to the eight point break like he had. He, yeah, he, better, he should have set up for the safety where he could have just made the eight ball shot there and made the seven ball shot, eight ball three round safety, and just up there and gave him the kick instead of doing it for himself. Nice shot. Thumbs up. I don't know if you should have come. Oh, I'm ready. It's not a game. This is about. What is my favorite? You might just run the two balls out of the two balls. Like some playing him, like so smart. So he's gonna have to be better than that. He's gonna play safe. Same thing, just go have that ball towards the end table, two rows to the end, and two ball towards the one row to the seven. Oh, you can pull it over there. I, I personally would have gone on row to the seven. Get a little more control. More control is two ball. Hey, excuse me, sir.
<laughs> right. No, I don't need you. You're okay. That was Ronnie Wiseman. Hey, Ronnie, we're on the last game match anyway today. Yeah. Well, he just got back from the seniors one pocket down in. Hold on one second.
Little, little. Go ahead and answer. Go to one second. You're from over here. Yeah. That's all right. Sorry, bro. No, brother, yeah. you're okay. No, I gotta stop fucking it off, man. Like, yes. Fuck it. John? You gotta actually try, bro. Some, somebody said, I saw Sean last night. I tried to send him home. I said, I said, it's too late. He already had too many drinks in him. He ain't going nowhere. He's gonna play balls and walls all night. And he's gonna get up in the morning and come play pool. And you look fine. When, you, when I was over there so you earlier, you look fine. You look like you're. No, I, I should have drunk. I was really drunk. Did they? I, yeah, but I oh. was like, like, uh, not like really drunk. You know what I mean? Sure. Does that makes sense. Yes, for you. Yeah. It makes sense. <laughs> yes. Like most people, they wouldn't even be able to fucking walk out of bed. Yes. The person, the person I talked to said, "Man, I wish I could play pool like he does when he's drinking." No, they can't... could walk out of bed, bro. They couldn't. They no. Couldn't. I walked out of bed late. That was the worst part. Yeah. All right, let me get back to my commentary. Thank you, sir. I like your hair. <laughs> guys, we got a five to five match up here. Sorry, guys, I got some people in here drink quite a bit and play pool and are scared to gamble. So, if you want drunk action, come to grips. We have it. We have all kinds of action drunk action, not drunk action. All levels of pool. We have five hundred thousand dollars sets at five sixty. We have two three hundred dollars sets at four hundred four fifty.
Mm -mm. That was a good hit. See Tony Rapone's back. <laughs> okay, Eric. Sorry. Sorry, I've been I've been working on the back side of the uh I was on a phone call. So now that I've finished it up, I'm back on. Let's see. Ah, let me back up. <laughs> Can't even catch up to everything you said. <laughs> well, you should be here by now, aren't you? Where are you? I don't see you. We got action through this whole place. Jace just missed a pretty decent easy. Left the door open. Doug's coming to the table. The bearded wonder says he's here somewhere. I don't see him. One second, guys. I'll be right back.
Excuse me. On. So Doug just made a nice shot to go back up by one. I want a, a root there too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you have a nice safety. Look, there's a chance to go that one right here. We can just gonna make this and uh oh no, he played safe. He played safe, he didn't like his position on the four ball. So he tried to play safe. hard the first time and left the ankle. Miss Crazy. No, we're live right now. See it green? See that green light right there? Please. Hello, it's Frisbee. Yeah, a couple of people came in and asked, and that's where we're going to be. I just pulled you down in the corner. Cool. Yay. Yay. It's on. <laughs> <It's boring. laughs> it looks like he's, it looks like he's, I mean, I'm not there. I'm assuming she's going to play safe here. Uh, I thought about calling it just because there's you know, a lot of them. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 There you go. Kind of guys. Got you distracted.
Are you getting me a root beer? <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Uh, I had to put that English on it so I can move it. So he missed the five ball. He had to put a bunch of inside English on that last ball, and the ball just carried. There's not hard you can do about that. He made the ball, and the ball just kept carrying to where he had no shot, a real shot of five ball. So he tried to spin into it. Giving up ball in hand with uh, five balls on the table. Thank you. Ooh, man, I'll tell you what. Um, nice shot right there. Nice and clean. Perfect strike. You stop the ball. Maybe roll forward a couple inches. He might draw it back to the side. No, just, okay, it'll end it. Nice shot. Now he can just stop it. <clears throat> no increase. I'm going to start a little more angle than I think I would have wanted, but hey. And he's got that one in the pocket. All square again, 6-6. Six, six. Or your open table, both sides, left him absolutely in the front ball. He's definitely pushing. I know. I that to the side rail. That's the two ball post to the side rail street front. He actually can make this ball get a few rails to the two. A little top inside into it. And just broke through it and there's a few rounds for the two ball for sure. Let's see this. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I think you put your straight top on it and made the ball and get yourself that hit A hit on the two ball. Um, I imagine me, I'm going two rounds for the two ball to the end round. I'm putting the two ball by the eight. We're behind the seven. Oh, he's calling. He's going to try to bank it to the corner. All right. I promise if you make that ball. Alright. <laughs> he can hit this two ball. Um, what you don't want to do is you don't want to try to control it and sit on the other side of five balls too far away. So I'm just going to. Put a little bottom that ball, maybe it draws in behind that ball and they keep the ball three rows down. There you go. Now, there you go. That's the shot. 100% that's the shot. So he's kicking to the top right corner. Hit it. Good hit. And got safe. First ball of the book, and you're playing a kick shot. It's a hit. 
we never know what will happen after that. This is our last match of the day. Mm. Little blunder there. Uh, still the two, three, four, kind of in bad shape. Um, the ball probably goes to the corner. So you can shoot this ball. You definitely play safe with the cue ball going in behind the four nine for sure. Just cut the cue ball down to it and let the cue ball roll over and hit the rail right behind the strip. Um, okay. This angle on the, the angle on the cue ball. You can definitely go three rails to the you can go three rails to the three. We'll go clean right around that seven. Biggest issue you might have is the nine ball. Making sure that you get behind the nine ball. That's three because you're three rails. You can simply play a one run. All right. Maybe he's firing the nine ball. Ten ball in. Oh. Maybe the three goes clean. I just don't realize. I think I have gone through the last bit. Yep, so he's looking at the nine ball, ten ball, excuse me. Ten ball in the corner pocket. Don't tell nobody. He, he made it. Oh, no, that's that. Seven, six. <laughs> Finally started catching a little stroke, and then I got a cock too late. That happens a lot, actually. We just finally just go for it. So we got a 7 6 game here. Doug is in the lead. What's up, brother? You're not taking off on you, are you? No, I gotta go. Um, that's what I was wondering. <laughs> Alright, cool. Then we ain't gotta worry about it. Cause they...
back. Didn't get my microphone like charged up today, so I've been having to do a little bit of work on it. But we should be okay for tomorrow. We got the final eight tomorrow. Just a little secondary view for a second here. I think we got a more while he's looking at what he wants to do. Here. We have a 7 7 game here. Okay. Back to our normal view. He does play the little safety. Got a little unlucky on the double kiss and brought the one ball back down there again. Nice little jump shot here. Man, we have got a game here. Seven. Man, these guys are playing hard. It's going back and forth. It's a good matchup right here. I don't mind that stuff. A lot of people say, oh, you know. If you see the negative, you know, man, these guys are bad. Man. I love match better battles. It's not one sided, both are playing smart, cool, you know, and that. No, you might not. You might never have to shave again either. It might be so bad. <laughs> Looks like he's just going to scare him into the five, huh? Oh, look at that. That's a nice shot, right? That's, that's knowledge right there. Knowing that ball's going to come across like that. He got an angle too. He can go two rows out from the two ball. He has top left. He can two rows out from the two ball. Three balls stuff though. That's the biggest issue. OJ lost, damn.
Gordo! Nice win. Thanks, man. That's a tough player, too, right there. You played yeah. damn well. I was one. I started firing at oh, sorry. And I was just, I got. What was the final score? Uh, Hill Hill. Yeah, it did. 11 10. Woo. Yeah, he gave me an opportunity to miss the 10 ball. Got put me back in, I was down. No. He missed really? the 10 ball to get out. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, because yeah, he had the 10 ball to win. And then you missed it, and then you lost the end. Two more with you. Wow. He's one of our local players, too. I stream him a lot, but he likes to. He's an action player. He's in $1,000, $2,000 action all the day. All the time. And uh, they played like a lot of, like, this is 5 So there's a lot of players in the area that come back, like, one $2,000 action all the time. And I stream them. And I just live out of grips. And uh, he's one of the ones that he's like my main streamer. It's like, hey, I'm going to the next two grand. You know what I'm on now? Okay. I'll run home, run down here from home and start streaming. I do, for the most part. I mean, now that. So I just came in here. I, re, I just had somebody else doing it, maybe. So I came in and tore it all apart. They had their wires all run on top. You could see them. I came in here and just re ran everything. I got this camera and that camera going. And I have multiple cameras that I'll set up uh, for multiple shots. But I thought the tournament was tomorrow and didn't show up. And they called me at 15 minutes to 11 to get my ass here this morning. I ran down and they played the first game. They already played the first game. They waved me and took me less than five minutes. They got everything's right there now. And the only reason why that there's one wire there that shouldn't be there because you can see I got a junction box right here. And I just hook up it normally, but I had the wrong. Internet cable ran, so now I gotta change the game over. <laughs> other than that, it just, you know, pretty much together, other than the fact I had planned on coming in today and doing, getting multiple cameras set up, including one straight down on cable, and I didn't get the opportunity to do it, so I'm gonna come here early tomorrow morning and we can advance tomorrow and we're doing a live stream, it's gonna be a completely different setup. Yeah, I'm hoping to have three different views. Yeah. The game, this plan at least, should happen. Hold on a minute. Let me turn this off. Hey, we can step outside here. Yeah. Yeah.
wrapping this up pretty quick here. What's that? Yeah. How many? Nine foot. Uh, eleven? I think eleven. Yeah, it's definitely eleven. We play on ten. Yeah, there's eleven. Eleven, nine foot. Yeah, this whole row except for the last two. And then these. Yeah. And then the rest are seven foot tables. We have a lot of big, like we have a seven foot table tournament today, the chip tournament, but it's got the scotch doubles. And um, based on Fargo, and you get so many chips. You ever play a chip tournament? I have. So, so it's, a, it's a good little chip tournament, nine ball. So, um, no, starts at eight o'clock, I believe. Time to now. Oh, yeah. No, that's Frisbee in the corner right there, but it, it, it's been getting, well, at one at the highest, the highest he's gotten is like 72, 140 people. And that's when, that's usually when there's like a national APA in town or BCA national or something. They'll get, get tons of, but, yeah. but normally there's probably about 35 to 40 teams. Oh, it's doubles. Tonight is Friday's is, yeah. You got singles on Thursdays, doubles on Fridays, and singles on Sunday afternoon. So if you're still here Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock, there's the singles. How long are you guys here for? We don't fly out for fucking Yeah, you might as well come play some pool. And it's... What's your Fargo? So you'll get eight chips. Wow. Which is the max. That's the max. These are very common. They're like these are guys taking in deep breath and I'm like, all right, what do I do here? He almost has to, uh, I think he's going to have to go forward and try to bring the off the other side of the table to get to the side. He's got a little weird angle where it might hit the 10 ball, which might be his biggest issue. In that case, I think I might even use it with a little inside angle to try to it's gonna go at least one run, maybe two. Like that. Um, he might draw it. Yeah, he's one. He's looking at five. Probably mm -hmm. draw it. He's gonna push that second pocket. Question is, just so it don't end up on top of the eight ball. So anything about going topping it, it might end up on the eight ball. So yeah. yeah. Which one? Yeah, he's going top. He's going to try to spin the net. Real to top right, and just try to get it out of there. There's the shot. Nice shot. Get out of there, Timbal. Yep, it's open. Get it good. Has he come? Has he come and played tournaments here before? No, he's he not he cool. uh, somewhere. They, uh, they know Vegas Masters. Oh, is that what? It, that's when I've seen him. And then him and him and the team will come up here during the day. Yeah, that's where I've seen him before. I definitely have seen his face before. Wow. <laughs> 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 yeah. He left himself a little tough on that bar today. He left him. He kind of stood up on it. <clears throat> Do you think he catches this ball back? Is that your picture on there? No. No wonder you're a happy man. If he goes for it, he's You think so? 
Oh, he's going for it. No, he tried to cut it off. Or did he? Or was it too late? Yeah. He's supposed to finish that game. Who knows it? And you hate giving a person an extra shot. But shit, I'm happy. Anything yeah. misses the ball might go bad. He's such an elephant, yeah. right? Like, it's really, such an easy out. He kind of poked at the uh, yeah. nine ball. He poked it at the drop, but he poked the shit out of it. He is playing, just going up on it. What's he doing? Oh, no. The hell? Yeah. I take this shot any day that we're going to this long. I'm taking this shot. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm doing this. Just gotta make sure I make the damn thing. Hey, how you doing? Nice and smooth. Oh. You gotta roll. You gotta roll. Definitely, definitely, definitely banking the ball to win. That's for sure. No. If he, if he does lose this game, he's gonna be thinking about that damn ten ball, that nine ball, nine two to ten. How you gonna look at it? Oh, yeah, hundred uh, percent. You got you. Plus, you can just run it to the ball to the end round. You're fine. Tight. Tight. What's that? I, I, I think you should be fired that Oh, I'm definitely firing it, yeah. But actually, he was, he, yeah, his aim was a little tight as it was. He was fired, it definitely would have been tight. You sweating yet? <laughs> uh, sweat action, nothing better. And the problem is he keeps giving me this thing. What a shot was that. My God. He ain't giving up nothing easy. That's a fact. That's what that's what I like about the game. He's out moving. You just gotta make sure next time he gets the fuck out when he's so good. That's all. He shouldn't have to be playing the ball in the budget ball at the day. Okay. Uh, he did not play the one. Looking at these turn easy. Thirteen people watching, man. I appreciate all you guys. This is the last match of the night, guys. So just stick me out just a little bit longer here. It's a race to 11. It's 8 7. So we're down to just a few games. This is Doug shooting right now. Jace is his opponent. That is center Got pocket. Yeah. 9 7. Race to 11. This is 580 and under. In case you guys weren't here on there earlier. $1,000 entry fee. First place is going to take home a little over $30,000 with 40 opponents. Hey, Jace, do you get family here in Las Vegas? No, I don't. You don't? Okay. I have, I know so. Yeah. I thought maybe, maybe Sandy's, maybe he's part of Sandy Bird's family. He says he has no recognition of any relatives here in Las Vegas. Sandy's been in Las Vegas his whole life. I believe born and raised. He is married now, so probably not her name now. Yes. 
He's not jumping. He's been jumping these balls earlier. Guys, he's not jumping. Oh, he is. Oh, he's just on that side. Nice hit. I like that so much better than the jump. Other than the fact that it's just going to hang in front of the pocket. It's Doug a good chance to get out from here. One, two, three. Four by the side, five by the bottom right corner, six by the eight ball on the left side. The seven ball is no longer on the table. We kept perfect position to make the two ball and roll down. We might be even able to tap the eight ball and get it off the rail right now. It's not a bad idea. Not a whole lot, so you don't want to hurt it, you don't want to hit it too hard. You want to be able to tap off it a little bit. That's perfect. That was as good as it gets right there. It makes that shot a whole lot easier. You can pull this ball out one rail or two rails. You can also go forward with it. So it looks like he's going to go forward. We'll probably top left and pull it out one rail. Nope, two rails and out. Okay. Nice shot. Oh. Did you ever roll it? It looks like he's getting down to aim at it pretty quickly, so it should be all right. Maybe. He may have overrolled it. So. Oh, God. Let me see what you smoked today. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you guys leaving? You going to work? Yeah. All right. Nice shot on the four ball. Shot to the five. And you're still waiting. I mean, you say it. Oh, no, no. This is a good one. Oh. I thought I could wait. Like, no, no, I gotta go. Oh, it was. Good night, guys. Doug uh, ended up scratching on that ball. And Jace has a three ball out. You tie it back up at eight. Or excuse me, bring it up to eight, nine. I'm sorry, right now it's seven, nine. Nice and clean. So this, yeah. Laying on this ball is I'm pretty sure he's just gonna draw back to the 10. Let's see. I could be yeah, no, he's just gonna roll in. Oh man. Ball to the corner pocket. And he hit it good. Center pocket. Nine to eight. Eight nine. You know how you look at it? Still here, huh? All right.
Alright, road dry. Money's in the house. And Jace has a shot at the one ball. a little safe. Paul for joining us. We appreciate you so much. I had a little late start this morning or to have a little bit better setup, but it will be fine today. We have a final eight tomorrow. Chase definitely found. That's Joe Klimchek, Q Repairs. He is in the house taking care of everybody. Take care of all your Q and chip repairs. Irish linen, chef any recondition it and make it like brand new. New tips, any tip you can imagine, he's got it. And some that you might never have even heard of. How about them dolphins? I haven't seen any of the seasons. Yeah, they won 70 to freaking 20 the other day. Did they? Yes. Wow, what's going on? Oh, are you are you Irish? Uh, Isle of Man. Oh, Isle of Man. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you too. So I found out one thing: is anybody from the British Isles always ask if they're Irish? Because they'll never take offense if you ask if they're Irish. If they're Scottish, they won't take offense if you ask if they're Irish. Only if you ask if they're British. So never ask somebody if they're British. Always ask if they're Irish. And they never take offense. So put that out there. So a little fact. Anybody from the British Isles and you're not quite sure what they are, just ask them if they're Irish. They'll never take offense to that. If you ask if they're British and they're not, they will take offense to it. <laughs> put that out there. You're welcome. This is the last match of the night, and it's 2 11. We will be back tomorrow with the final eight. First place, we'll be getting a total of $30,000 for first place. Huge money. This is a $1,000 entry fee, 580 and under. It was open to 64 players. If we had 64 players a week and a half ago and 24 people backed out that normally played the tournament. So we ended up with 40. Jace has a chance to get out from here. And tie this up at nine. Oh, left that one out of the pocket, overcut it again. He did a couple of those shots today, so he just overcut the ball.
took his time going through the shot, but once he got down, he shot it one stroke and shot it. Dug back to what he's been doing the whole time, just trying to outmove him. Get him next to nothing, make him just constantly kicking and thinking and trying to play smart. Got Jace was shooting great earlier. And then yeah, got him out of stroke by playing smart like this and just making him play think instead of shoot. Huge difference. There's no doubt in my mind he's going to play this ball to the end round, whether it's two rounds or one round. So he's going two rounds to the end. If it doesn't overroll, oh, he's okay. That's not bad. Not bad. Then a lot of open safeties. Open safeties are shots where if you get aggressive and go for it, a lot of times you sell out. When you sell out, you're going to lose this game. So. Like if he tries to spin, cut this ball into the pocket, and he doesn't make it, he's in trouble, but he made it. What a great shot. Used to see, will be shooting over the nine ball. Thank God the seven's in the pocket, so he can just roll this ball. Have a good night, guys. It's a nice show. Oh, that's going to be perfect position on the eight ball. It's hit. This is to go up 10 to 9. This is a race to 11. Sarah! Sarah? <laughs> you guys know Sarah? That is you, isn't it? I thought so. That's why I said it. <laughs> so Sarah is actually right here in front of me. Thank you for the live stream. So he tried to put some top left on that ball and just spun it out of the pocket. And it looks like he has a shot right here. Well, maybe not, he took that he doesn't. Does he bank the ball to the side pocket and run the two ball behind the same kind of two ways? Let's see. Oh, you did away. Yeah. All right. Put the money in there. Listen, he's been doing this and controlling this match the whole night. I I didn't I don't expect him to change now. That's nice. Jason, hey, look, don't put this. Here's a chair for you sitting right here, bro. You're welcome. You got, shot, you got a shot on the nine ball. This is to go nine nine. We have it's all square at nine. Race to two. Man, what a match this has been. These guys have been fighting. It's a smart play, moving real well. Jace wrecking the balls right now. Doug on the bench. Race to two. Winner is in the money. Loser is not. Let me see if I can find out what the money is right now for these guys. So winner. Um, made the two ball and has a shot at the one ball. With the three nine is right there, and the money, the winner of this match is guaranteed. Let me get there up. The heck, man! Oh, I went past it. So the winner, this is this they're playing for nineteen hundred dollars right here, which is basically double their entry fee. Their entry was a thousand. That might include the side box. This is to get their money back. 
with the chance to win $30,000 in first place. Nice second up. Good and well first from the one ball. And man. He has no shot at three, does he? Oh no. Duck himself behind the five. So the money for this tournament is just for the tournament portion, not the side pots or the Calcutta. It's 16000 for first, 8000 for second, 3700 for third and fourth, and 1900 for fifth and sixth. Total side pots and Calcutta, first place is over $30,000. So the biggest shot that Doug's got here right now is that seven ball. I don't know that it goes to a pocket. Maybe it goes to the top of the left. It does not go to any either one of the bottom pockets. I don't think. It might go to the right bottom on the right hand side. He gave himself a really weird position on this five ball. He almost has to play it to the side pocket with this straight bottom. Up. If you don't want to scratch and cross stuff, you might be a good top, straight bottom, and you should get your shot with six ball. Because you'll be on the left side of the table. There you go. That was a great shot. Still got to make. He's looking to see where that seven ball goes. Billy Jean is not my friend. So he might have to run this ball underneath. I don't know yet. Let's see these little cozy shoes. He pulls it back and oh, he's gonna go two rails for sure. If you go two up, no, he's just gonna play two rails across that nine ball. Some ball must have went to the left. He's gonna play safe from here for sure. Or the ten ball. Um, Just playing safe. The only other problem with that is just the seven ball hits the nine. So you gotta worry about where that seven ball is gonna end up. Oh, he's playing safe. It's just that when the cue ball comes off, the seven ball comes off the rail, is it gonna hit the nine ball? You think so? Yeah. Okay, nice, nice try. But you were, that's what he was trying to do. I think he was trying to make the ball take a cue ball up the table. Yeah, that's probably what it was. With the, the speed he put on that ball. All right, guys. So uh, four balls to get out. All matches up and playing. You taking off? No, I'm not. You're gonna hang. Then Jace used my cue right now. Oh, you are. Why? What happened? You don't like it. Yeah, she's cute. You can fuck around there. You got a what? He got a cheap cue that he started playing. He, his good cue got stolen in South Dakota. Really? Yeah. Is that where he's from, South Dakota? Yeah. I can give him a gunslinging cue, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey, I tell you what, in the, the old school, the old school, they freaking made you whatever you brought to the table. That's all you got, baby. You didn't get the two shoes, nothing else. Ten balls to get on the hill. And he is on the hill. So it is 10-9. Jace is on the hill. He is from the Dakotas, South Dakota. Oh, God. Excuse me. Get over here. That's how, you, that, that's how you talk to me. <laughs> no. You yes, talk to me do. first like Boy, that. So you get tough. Talk to you Man, like I'm that. like. Hmm. Hey. Don't <laughs> hey. 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 You can't take it. Don't miss it. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. That's Chastity. Jace is breaking for the win. This is a $1,900 match. Race to 11. With the chances of winning 30. I mean, you got so far, Frisbee. Uh, okay. okay. So is that ready? I'm just going to put it in chat right here. And what time is it now? What time is it now? Good night, sir. Good night, sir. Huh? Do you fear me? Shoot, man, I whooped this. Going to dinner, I'll be back later. You broke even. I know it. Yes. Okay, this is for the marbles right here. Oh. 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 Damn, this has been a great match. I'd, I'd love to see it go hill hill. We've already had the last match go hill hill. Tried to cut that ball in, and did he get safe? Nope, that came into the gap. That gap, for sure, unless it rolled behind it. It rolled pretty deep in there. It looks like he's got a gap there. He does. He's making this ball. Oh, he even went well first. Let's see if he gets a shot on a three. Not really. Looks like he's going to play safe behind the six. Oh no, he played it downtown. He's playing safe behind the ten. Nice shot. Oh, on the oh, Nice shot. He's picking up the side rail. Man, the, 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 just the moving of the ball and the, and the shooting in this game has been really, really good for 580 and under Fargo. Man, these guys have been battling this whole game. Doug is just making Jace earn everything. And there's only probably been about three mistakes, four mistakes that were really so bad that we lose the game. So, uh, that could have been one of them right there. Got my 
ball in hand. Everything is wide open. The biggest issue he's got is from the six to the seven. Six to the seven to the eight. So the six to the seven is the biggest shot. So he needs to get five, six, seven. Yeah, so actually it could be even more even more work from the five to the six. But he gets it right. He gets the three rails across or even one rail across. We'll see how he shot it. So yeah, so he just make this ball from the cross table. He's fine. And the, and the biggest issue is going to be pulling it back down for the seven ball, whether that means going three rails in or one rail back. See what, how what position he gets in. Five, five to six is natural. So on this shot right here, just put a little top right on the ball. Top right to middle right. And just let the ball come straight across the table. Make sure you make five ball. This the, the position is really natural. I'll play about about 10 o'clock, 9 to 10 o'clock, and then it's going to come across the table and make sure you make the ball. Oh, he tried to pull it out. I'm pulling it across. I'm, I'm trying to do that for a more corner shot. He tried to kind of pop it and pull it back. This could be the match right here. 5 to the 6. It's going to come down to the 6 to the 7. Draw it straight back from here. Just don't want to do the wobble. So make sure you make this ball set in center pocket and not be a little bit off of it or it won't drop. Yeah, nice shot. Pull it straight back. It's perfect. Good work. This is for the match right here. These three balls is for the match. Excuse me. Four balls. So you get the seven, eight, nine, ten. So on this ball right here, I think I'm just going to. He's going to play it to the well. He's going to play it out. I think he's going to play it to the well. Oh, he looks like a little bit of a weird angle there. Um, yeah, I, maybe I've not seen this person. Yeah, he's... I don't think he's played that ball to the corner. I think he has to either bank or play it. Like he, I don't know. Man, I just don't see that. So then, and it's still hot. Wow. Oh, he had real. He had. He had a. Oh, oh, oh. So he ended up having to cut that ball a little bit thin and trying to keep it from scratching and end up going. End up having to hang on. This is to go hill hill right now. Okay, so a little short on this nine ball. It does go. He just makes it. He has six pockets this ten ball can go in. So I'm just going to make sure I make this ball. Come out two rounds out to the pen. And whatever it gives me, it gives me, and, and I play from there. You gotta go for it, man. You got to go for this shot. I'm not giving some crazy shot, but you just gotta do it and let it just rip it. You gotta come two rows out to the same pocket. It looks like it looks like he's trying to play. Let me see if I can get an angle on it. Just looking at the path for that two balls gonna hit. I think he's gotta go for the shot. What do you think? Yeah, just nice and smooth and clean. Let it go two rows out to the ten. He's definitely aiming like that. There's the money right here on this shot. 
Oh. Hey, here we go, guys. This is for his on the line. Mix his ball. Get it back. And got a roll. He's safe. Is he safe? Maybe I might have squirted that. I might have squirted that a little bit here. That's a lot of pressure trying to this whole match and knowing I need to make that ball on it. Well, he's going to bank the win. He can just stop the cue ball. That's the good thing about it. He will have position on the 10 ball. Or is he going to go? No, he might have to end up going to the in route. He might have to go across it. Yeah. And he left it on the end table. In route. That is definitely what he was playing for sure. Nice little safety back. I can see what happens. Did he call it corner right where he's at? Like one row or two rows? One row or two rows? I'm thinking two rows. Two. Oh. Oh. I don't know if that's... Yeah, no, it's just safe. It's holy. Oh. Oh. Hey, John. Oh. Great, Ginger. And Jake just came at these two balls. See people punch this ball. Yeah. yeah. You did? Oh, man. And it might. Oh. Question is if it, 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 it doesn't go. Man. Well, if it don't go. Tommy, this is the uh, Sam Lin Chow. So the winner of this is in the final eight, which is in the money. So that they're playing for nineteen hundred dollars, loser gets nothing. Loser gets nothing. Winner gets eighteen. What the hell? Is, what? What is that? What? <laughs> Who's that, man? What's going on with the beard? What's going on? <laughs> It is. It looks good. You know what? Sometimes you gotta do it. So is he firing the timber? You just gonna fire the timber? I don't. I don't think your nine ball goes. Oh, he's playing the safe. No, he's doing the right thing. Why would he fire the timber? He's doing the right thing. I wasn't sure he had the angle to do that. They let anybody in this motherfucker. They've been letting me in here forever. That's exactly what I was thinking when you walked through the door. That's exactly what I was saying when I saw you and, in the door. And now I know why they let you in here. Because I'm motherfucking awesome. Forever. Because <laughs> Katie used to work here. That's the only reason. Yeah. <laughs> well, Katie's the smartest it's... and best person in this town. So. I tried to tell that to Henry a long time ago that he should have her in there running that I place. And he just won't listen. Look. I told, I told Henry him. way back when, that's, that is the person he needs in here running this place. She's the only one that has the ability and the people knowledge, who they are. She, yeah. knows, she has our knowledge, people knowledge, Ooh. full room knowledge. Yes. So me and Rob was talking about her working there before. And then after Henry died, I said, I pray God Tracy gets her in here as a manager. He goes, oh yeah, me too. Don't worry, he's trying. I said, well, if I can talk her into it, I will. And then she looked at me and said, oh yeah, I'm going to go over there and work. And then a week or two later, she goes, just so you know, and this was before she told everybody. I already, I do right off the bat. Well, I, at the beginning, she wasn't planning on buying half of it. No. And she told me, she goes, well, I decided to work here and don't tell everybody, but more than likely, I'm buying half of it. I said, that's what's slow. Well, you know I'm your patron for life. You know you're stuck with me. She goes, I'm good with that. Like, you're, awesome. You are her online face of shoe club well congratulations hey thank you that is I so, try. that's so special i try you're so oh, special here take a picture of 
That is still here. I'm, I'm actually live streaming. Like you're online right now. You're, you're, we're listening to you right here awesome. on the stream. Well, I think as long as that green light's on, you're all. Oh Lord, y'all do not need me on no live stream. We're we're Hill Hill winner wins at least nineteen hundred up to thirty thousand and loser nothing. Well, it sucks for the loser. <laughs> one, one, one game. Maybe they'll one give game. me fifty cent tip for talking. Listen, shit. there's Melissa. Oh, see. I want a quarter, so right. I'm cheaper than you. All right, well, I'm if cheap. I do 50 cents, I'll give you half and we're, we're even. We're good. We're good. I, and I'll give you some wigs I still got sitting at the oh, house. Oh, snap. We got the wigs. <laughs> they're they're worth, they they, they uh, got to be worth, no. Like, a couple of hundred a piece. You could, uh, just be happy. No, get, I'm saying. Yeah, a hundred a piece and be yeah. quick. Well, I will get them to you. Now that I know you're at Q Club every fucking day, one day I'm going to run them out there for you. Yeah, just bring them over to now me. Now that I know that where to find you. I can post them on Facebook, too. Because we get them wigs out there. You know some of the girls be bobbleheads. Look, not all women look like Rihanna with bald heads, okay? I didn't say they do. Oh, I'm saying they don't. And I'm a girl, so I can get away with it. <laughs> That's why I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Just remember what you're thinking I'm probably going to say, whether they want me to or not. That's why I don't mind. That's why I told you that it was live, because you ain't going to hold back anyway. Oh, no. That makes it just fun. Like you were saying, you look at my thing, it says, you know why I can't listen to you that? Because you get the craziest people under, and you're just having too much fun. I said, well, isn't that they're not what bored. life's about? Yeah, I mean, life's mean, about how many people on here, how many people have watched pool matches and know what it means? But how many people get entertained yeah. while they're watching pool matches? It's nuts. Unless nope. they own a co unless, unless they, they own, own Griff TV. That's right. Griff TV. <laughs> I love you so much. Don't tell nobody. Because you're so mean to me. I just I don't know, know what to think. Okay, I have I have this I have a secret. All right, Georgia. What's the secret, Georgia? Because we're like live right now. I don't like people. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't like me. I don't oh, like tall people. Y'all oh. can reach everything from the top to the bottom. And you know it's just the, not fair. You know the worst thing about being tall? What? My knees and my shins hurt all the time because I fucking bump shit on my head. I bump shit. I was about to say, get off your knees. That's a woman's job. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that. No, I did. No, you did. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're Hill Hill. Everybody knows Chassie. If you're in Las Vegas, you know her. Oh, what we got there? The sad official. Hi. Let's go, Dougie. Corey. I'm sorry, North Dakota. I was thinking it was South Dakota, so I was just saying Dakota. So he's from North Dakota. He's, Hill. he's in a match here. So we got North Dakota versus Texas. Bill Hill, winner this night, is guaranteed $1,900. We got a nice hit there. And the two ball rolled out a little bit. This has been one battle of a game right here. This is the last game. I can say this is the last game of the tournament today with the eight finalists coming back tomorrow. So this will be streamed tomorrow. I'll have a few more uh, different views tomorrow for the fact that I was not, I was thinking the tournament started tomorrow and got here late. So I barely got set up in time to stream it, but I did. This is called a tempo? Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah. That alone right there make you think about it. Oh, that ball went. I did not think that ball went. That was a nice shot. Let's hope so you don't pay the price for going for that. You're gonna have to pull the you're gonna have to pull the three ball back to this to like maybe four to seven, eight. But he does too. The two balls give me. Oh and he has been overcutting those balls all day.
you want to make this bone, just pull the ball across the table. A little bit of top to the right. And just let the ball go across the table to the floor. Make sure you make the ball first. And he did. Tap it, tap it. Alright. We ain't in no hurry yet. You guys have been playing smart all day. It ain't gonna stop now. So he's just gonna try to shoot the four ball in between the seven, eight ball, leave the two ball right there. And he did. Nice shot. Nice shot. He almost got to my fifth minute. I don't think the angle is there. He's gonna jump. He's gonna jump this one. Here we go, guys. This could be the shot right here that makes all the difference. What happened? Oh, you're with this guy? <laughs> See you, Sean. Have a good night, guys. All right. There we go. We ain't done yet. That four ball does go clean. And then come across, or you can come across and shoot the 5 9 combo. You might be able to roll in, I can't tell. So then he's looking at from the 5 9 to the, from the 5 to the 6. If you can get the right hit on this four ball and position on the five, he's got a chance to get out. He's pocket for tight, so you don't. He played safe. He played three well, safe to the corner, and I think he left you out. I think there's an out there. So they're taking a break with a few balls left. <laughs> don't start acting like me. Why do you think I'm standing up back here all this time? <laughs> Last match of the night. How'd your partner do? Nah, he just lost. Oh, he... Um, he um, really? Oh, yeah. So I, I, I took a follow him behind him when he was playing in Tim's... Uh, during the pandemic, this tournament he was playing online and watched how well he played for his Fargo. Yeah. And so I thought he had a real, I, I honestly thought about buying this guy. I I'm glad I didn't now, but I mean. Yeah. Quit doing that shit. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I got him mixed up with somebody else. Oh, he should just put him well, we're live on stream right now. So uh, these guys right now, winners, they're playing all these matches are worth at minimum $1,900. They win if they win. They win, they're guaranteed $1,900 with a chance to win $30,000 for first place. Great. Every match on the table right now. We're down to the final eight in one day. Ah, Start with 40 players. The nine foot tables? No, I, this one's over. This one's going to be opened up right now. That's impressive. How many tables are they using? Well, we, we, today we started out with 10. 10 out of 11. Right now, how many tables? We're using just tables down that row right there, and this game here is about done. These two tables are about to open up. And some of the, those guys are in down there, too. So, so there's only uh, four tables, or three tables now going. So it might be... First three. Yeah, so it might it might be 20, 22, 23. And, when did they start? Uh, 11 o'clock this morning. So with 40 players. We're down to final eight tomorrow. We're coming back tomorrow. Everybody that gets through today is in the money. 
which is a guaranteed 1900 And with the chance that if you win the whole tournament, you get a total with that all side pots and everything at 30000 These two guys right here have been battling safety. They're just trying to outplay each other, just outmove each other. And uh, he's, the guy shooting out, Doug, has been outmoving, but Jason's been, but Jason's been shooting, out shooting him. So, like, so, so that was not the best shot in the world, but it is on the end round. Jason has a pretty good shot of getting out from here. Jason's out shooting him, so it makes us sit not five ball. But it's just been working for. Doug so far, putting on in rails, giving them open safety, so giving them shots and swings at balls. And so the game, he has won, Jason got something stupid happened, or Doug won. Yeah, see, like that shot right there, that Jason's been out shooting him, Doug's been out moving him, but that wasn't a great shot there. You drawing this ball back yeah, to the seven? Yeah, yeah. To the side? Yeah. It's the biggest oh, issue. You got too much anger. You're going to go to the red and come back home. Like that? Like that. Nice shot. And that, I think you have the right angle to roll in today. Ball to the corner, but he better get on that rail. There's not I a know. lot of point there. You don't have much anger. It's almost straight. Yeah, he <laughs> almost has to be straight. Yeah. Yeah. But does it go fast or nine? I don't think it goes fast no. to nine ball, does it? No, it, w it won't go fast to nine ball. That's that might be his only chance to win, actually. I think I think he may he's got a clip. Maybe for you use the cue bar. Or play it. Maybe you could use it. Maybe you could use the cue bar and run into the and it come up on. So he is he's 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 aiming it off the eight. Which means he's aiming it off the eight for sure. I mean, the eight ball goes now, in the corner. Now it looks like he's hitting it clean. He's hitting it clean. But I don't think it goes past. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. If it does, it's by the slimmest margin. I mean, like. Yeah, it's crazy. He was down like 96. Who's going to win? I would rather try to use the two ball going to the eight. And make it like that. Get the red and I get it in the side of the corner. Yeah. One time the nine ball. Yeah. Yeah. No, that fumble is going to be fucking All right, here we go. Oh, I think it's a shot. He shot the nine ball. It didn't go past the nine. He had to do that. That was his one chance. Hey, I don't even want to be in his vision. Made out of stainless steel. <laughs> Brass ain't going to do that. Center pocket. And, oh, oh. Okay. Just down the rail. Now, we did this. This rail runs real good. The guy earlier had both the balls on the rail and shot it straight down that table. So it goes clean. It goes, it goes past the side, no problem. It goes, no, it goes clean. You just shot it earlier. It goes, oh. Oh Lord. It's nerve wracking now. That, no, you're cutting this. This is money. This ball goes. This ball definitely goes. That, that's a ball easy, right? Yeah. The biggest thing is where the cue ball goes, right? Just got to make sure you watch the cue ball. For the money. I think I'm putting. I think I'm putting a little bit of left on it, and taking it cue ball to the end rail. How would you shoot this ball? Just make it. I mean, you can shoot with a little inside, or you can shoot with a little out. I will check the angle and see where it's going to go naturally. Yes. And then if it's going natural to a pocket, I correct it a little bit. It looks like it won't. It looks like it's going to end up two diamonds out of the corner. Yeah, so if it's naturally not going to just a pocket, make it. I just no make it. No English. No English. But if it's going to a pocket, I just correct it. Stay on the other yeah, So if you, uh, if you use right, if you use left, you can end up in the corner. 
RP is right. He's going to end up in the right. side. Oh, Oh, man, I'm cutting that ball back. Yeah, he's been doing that all day. He's been doing the whole – he's been out playing. I'm telling you, he's out playing, but Jason's been out shooting him. So this is – this is offense, defense. He's been doing it the whole – the whole match has been like that. Like, so a lot of people have said, oh, my God, what a horrible match. Man, it's been the best match if you realize what's really going on here. One time. Just when you're in poker, just one time, dude. And, oh yeah, center pot. Oh, no, it hung. Oh. And that's exactly when he won the games, he made those balls, and the games he lost, he did that. A lot. That's the way the whole match has been. That is the way the whole match has been. That sums up this match 100%. When he made those balls, he won. When he didn't, he lost. Wow. And by the way, we are live. Wow.